Good morning, everybody. <laughs> I can't see. <laughs> nope, it's black. It's black in here. I can't see. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> oh, hold on. Bring Rusty back up. There we go. I had to try it. <clears throat> oh, shoot. I took them off too quick, didn't I? Wait, I got to turn this down or I'm going to get an echo. There we go. All right. Good morning, everyone. Yep. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Go up here and do a thing. There we go. Up to the top. Skip Jack Cindy. Good morning. Sorry it wasn't 5 a.m., but I went fishing last night and figured I'd need an extra half hour. <laughs> so I did. Or double hey, J. I bet yeah, I didn't get home till is after midnight. I went fishing. Skip Jack Cindy. Good morning, Gig. Gig is always in early. He, he gets up early every day. I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Morning, Jimmy. Rusty came in. Da, da, da. Jimmy Geiger. Good morning, Jane J. Good morning. It's good to see you guys, man. Morning, Stan Three. <sighs> Hey, Stan Three, good morning. You just got home. I got home about midnight, and I didn't catch anything, but it was worth getting. I, it was nice, you know, just to get out for a while. Uh, my son and them come over for that eclipse yesterday, and I'd never seen the total blackout of the eclipse before. It was mind-boggling cool. I mean, just if you're into stuff like that, it was unbelievable. Uh, the whole thing from, you know, about... Hey, good morning, Curtis. I don't know. Morning, Curtis. Probably 15 minutes or 20 minutes before it went black, the temperature started dropping and, and a breeze started blowing. And then right, you know, when it, we had like three minutes or so, I think you could take your glasses off and look at it. And it was freaking cool, man. Yep. And. Uh, Stan three said, well, I caught something. Your finger don't count. <laughs> I, uh. I would drive a thousand miles to see it again. I honestly would. It was that cool. And it was cool because I had, you know, my my family here with me, my son and my grandkids and my daughter in law. Oh, it was a really cool afternoon. And uh, like I I like I said, I'd never seen a, a total blackout before like that. I'd seen eclipses like me and Rustic were talking a minute ago, you know, where it was almost kind of gray but not dark. Did you really get? I told you you was gonna have a good day, dude. And I knew you was. Yeah, I've only seen two total blackouts in my life. One in yeah. California, and one here. Yeah, and, like uh, I, I'd never seen them before, and it was it was one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Yeah. And, uh, unfortunately, it will not here 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 again for 145 years. I probably won't be around when the next one happens. <laughs> Yeah, you had it out this morning. Good. Yeah, good. Like I said, 2000, 30, 44. I think it's what she said, 44. Yeah. That's, I think, it ain't for like 30 years. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, but to come through my area like it did yesterday, you know what I mean? To be right in the, what, the sweet spot or whatever they call it, yeah. the totality spot or something. Yeah, it'll, it won't happen here again for, hundred and some years but yeah man very cool and, and like i said my son and my grandkids and everybody come over it was cool we hung out, out back. It, Dad it, it. Uh, i was more excited for the kids that's never seen one you know what i mean oh yeah I yeah you. yeah my my youngest grandkid had never seen one my oldest one had seen one they had the last one they had they drove down to kentucky or something for and uh hey tim good morning the dog is in the house. I kind of teased them about driving to Kentucky that last time, you know, because I didn't know. But and then after yesterday, I was like, "Oh, I see now why you, you know, if there's one within a thousand miles of man, I got a chance. I'll go to see it again." Yeah, you know, just because the not just the the eclipse itself, but the whole thing, the you know, it getting cool, the birds going away. Uh, the frogs started, you know, singing in the pond and stuff. It was cool. Oh, man, I forgot. Morning, I was Jody. Gonna, 
I was coming home last night and uh, on the state highway out in the middle of nowhere and it's dark. There's like woods on both sides. And I don't know if it was an hour or what, but it come flying out of the tree and hit the side of my truck. It was huge. I mean, it was, its wingspan was like this. And I, uh, I went up and turned in a driveway and turned around to go back and see if it was hurt or whatever, you know, and I would have, you know, throw the coat or something over it and called the DNR or something. But it scared the hell out of me. I mean, I caught just a glimpse of it out of my eye. And as I turned my head, it was literally coming right at me. And it hit the the door right behind me. I I, no, I think it, it had to be an owl that time of night. You know what I mean? It was huge. I think Chris him. Good morning. He said it was Mothman. <laughs> it might it might have been. I probably shouldn't have turned around now that you mentioned that. But man, it it scared the crap out of me. But I turned around and went back, and there wasn't nothing there. So I suppose it didn't hurt it or anything. That it got up and flew away. Uh uh. uh. <laughs> Mothman. <laughs> mm -hmm. We was uh. Going deer hunt one time up Van Buren. It's up in the mountain, more mountain type terrain. And uh, we was driving around to there at night, going up the mountain, heading over to State Park just to look around at nighttime, see the deer and stuff grazing out there. And a big old bat come down, and hit the windshield. Oh, it freaked me out. I thought it was coming through the windshield. So is, that there, one is, is that <laughs> Mad Cat's like web page where you go? You know, to look at poles and stuff like they got a gallery or something like that. Because uh, I'll go check that out if it is. Jody, I seen a beautiful fox the other day too, like down side of the road. Beautiful fox. We don't see too many of them around here anymore. And it's sad when they get run over. I guess the third well, fox. Here, well, I'm sorry. Stan three got a seventy pounder last night. And a few, a few forties, like it's just an everyday thing. <laughs> My God, and the forties, like a PB for me for two or three years, probably. That's my goal this summer. Going down to J Dogs, I'm going to try to catch a fifty. That's my goal for the summer. Hey, it could happen. You just got to keep going, keep throwing. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But man, it's like it's like different. You got to be at the right spot, right time, and it, it'll happen. Yeah, Mad Cats Unlimited page. That's cool. Yeah, I. uh Get up here, Curtis. Curtis, get up here. I didn't get to, uh, I didn't get out there to fish until about nine thirty or so. I know I was mowing, and I kept thinking, "Man, I'd love to go fishing right now." And then I thought, well, "Why not go? Heck, you, you know, you can finish a stone fly." Good morning, John. Good morning, buddy. Uh, you know, I was like, uh, "I can." Why not go fishing? I'll finish mowing today. I don't know what I was thinking. I should have quit mowing an hour earlier. Oh, yeah. Okay. So you're for the big fish. Okay. I see what you're doing. Did he really? That's cool. But yeah, I'd like to know what I'd what hit my truck last night. But I'm telling you, man, you know, it's after midnight and it's dark, dark, dark. And just something out of the corner <laughs> of my eye, man. And it slammed the side of my truck. I'm just glad that uh, that it was okay when I c come back to see. You know what I mean? There, it was. It wasn't there then, so it must have been all right. Did you what kind of real Mothman? What hooked up in? Yeah. What kind of reels you got coming, Jody? Send me one, Jody. I need one for my new rod. Okay. <laughs> I got up this morning. Dad was in the chair sitting there, no blanket or nothing. I grabbed the blanket and threw it on him, and he woke up and he said, "Man, I fell a little bit ago. Like they never got up." I said, "Why didn't you yell for me?" That, that's awesome, Jody. Oh, you won a couple. How cool is that? Very, very cool. I, uh, I'm like. Still get two more reels, one for my 10-foot ugly stick and one for my uh, tangling with cats. <laughs> I don't know yet. 
they got rules on them. I haven't really. One's a PC fine, and the other one's a gold. I don't know, Bass Pro Shop or something. J Dog gave me. Kudus. <laughs> Thanks, Kudus. <laughs> Curtis, get up here, Curtis. Kudus, he's all right. He doesn't work no more. For real. <laughs> But, yeah, it's a good day, man. Actually, Mom even come out, and she had ended up getting in a position where she could see it with one eye. And the glass is on, but one of her eyes, she, the only eye she can really still see out of. And somehow she got a position where she could see it. So that was cool. For some reason, I can imagine John sitting over saying, for real, you go, girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, goodness. Bug, I got a text yesterday just shooting me the bird. Thanks for that. Uh, he was telling I you was one. I don't know that that wasn't me, I don't think. Dude, I got one, too, from J-Dog just shooting me the bird. And I'm like, well, what in the fuck did I do? <laughs> I don't even know if I responded to him because I was so busy. But, yeah, I got one with the someone shooting me the bird. So I hope I didn't send one back shooting the bird to you, but I meant to send it to J Dog. That's very, very possible. Oh, it was J Dog. Okay, yeah, give me number. Yeah, I, I got I got the same thing. I was told I was number one. We're number one, John. <laughs> Mine had a whole line of the finger too. It wasn't just one from J Dog. Oh yeah. But about eight of them in there or something like that. I don't think I gave him your number. No, you know what? I think he probably got it off your video. But I didn't give it to him. I don't give people's numbers out, man. I don't either unless I get their permission. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I don't I do not do that. But hey, so-and-so would like to have your number. Is that okay? No? Okay. I'm but you no, did no, say, no. John, you did say something the other day about if you want my number, all you got to do is look at my videos. It's on the back of my truck or something like that, I think. <laughs> Jay Dog said he said you did. <laughs> That's because Buggy's number one. <laughs> Maybe I did. I don't remember, man. I don't think I don't remember. Oh, there's some birds going crazy outside birds. right now. Hold on, can you hear them? Yeah, you got parakeets. No, those are outside. Well, it's dark and they're chirping. Wow. Butters must have told him about the treats you're handing out. Yeah. Yeah, Butters must have said if you go over and scratch on the door, he'll give you a treat. Huh. I might have, John. I don't remember, dude, to be honest with you. Well, Butters got some bird friends. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. I just heard, you know, like, man, is there some birds out there? And yeah, it's outside. So I just went and opened the door about that far. So if they come back, that was cool. Being your number one fan takes a different meaning now. I used to have a pair of teeth that I had to get rid of it, give it to somebody because that thing would not shut up. Even if you oh. put a towel over the thing or whatever, I know my it's grandma was doing deal. One. Really? I just accidentally leave the door open, let the cat get in there and have his way with it. Really? How'd they get rubbed out? Predators. I remember being a kid and what a kid, a teenager, about probably fifteen, lived down in a little further south of Missouri here. We had some tall, extremely tall palm trees. <laughs> oh, and right, yeah. so a big old parrot flew up in the tree. I seen it flying, it flew up in our tree. And I tried to give it a cracker to water, try to get it to come down. Huh. It wouldn't somebody's parrot got loose and it took off. Well, yeah. yeah. Uh, the cold, the cold got him. Oh, that's horrible. Yeah, right, stand, so three, three, four, 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 four. waters out for the tournaments, and you don't catch is all that. Is it a these. monthly thing? The tournament that, that pays every month or something? I don't think I'm ever going to have to worry about the big fish of the month. <laughs> Oh, he said weekly. weekly. Oh, really? That's cool. Oh, that's why he's doing it. 
Yeah. I started to say, don't don't fish your spots out for the tournament sets in that elite thing. I mean, heck, it'd be worth it if they even just gave away a reel or something. Anything free's worth trying for. Yep. Oh man, I'm trying to figure out what I gotta do today. I know I gotta go to the VA tomorrow. And I don't know. Oh, I gotta see a house tomorrow. That's right. I forgot I took on an appraisal. And I was gonna see it Friday, but the guy said they were putting a new roof on and it wasn't on yet. And uh, I said he wanted to know if I'd come Wednesday. I was like, yeah, I can do that. Buggy spot. Like we well, you know, some people tell and some people don't, John. They said they wouldn't tell. I know who to trust now. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with that. Either that or he don't mind going fishing every other weekend as long as he gets to go. Yeah. Oh my God, I got Uncle Lou good last year. I was texting him about fire boards and he didn't know who I was. I told him he should call the complainer <laughs> or just much as he complained about making it. <laughs> the dog told you, yeah, he ain't, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna share no secrets with him no more when I go up there or down there. <laughs> well, that's cool, Stonefly. I sold my boat yesterday. Which is good for me. I can tag my new ride now, and uh, and I still got seven months to heal up, and it's it'll probably be next year. I, I, it gives me time to look for what I really want. Yeah, doesn't leak or sink. I like that. Someone said yesterday, oh, yep. it might have been on the base shop or whatever. That someone had a like a toolbox from putting the bed of a truck on the back of their boat full of water, and it said the boat was sinking. Ah, uh, you know, God protects the stupid. That's all I know. Goodness yeah, gracious. most people don't. They don't read the the little plate that comes on your boat that says there's a weight limit. Yeah, yeah. And we you can only real, be two hundred pounds over that if you're lucky. Yeah, we were real close to surpassing J Dog's weight limit in his boat last the other week when I was down there. Yeah, that's what he was saying. Yeah. I well, see millions of things go out on their daddy's pontoon, and there'll be so many of them aware that the floor they're standing on is like that high above the water. The tunes are almost completely yeah. under. Yeah. Then I see them all want to set in the back, and that thing's going through there like this. Oh, <laughs> like y'all. Uh, of course, snowbirds are gone for good now until next year. That's cool. Only boat like this today. Glad the snowbirds are gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Only red boy I got today too, so I'm going real slow with it. Uh, he was out yesterday. They pick up something. <laughs> well, I had three, but I took two fishing with me. Actually, I took one fishing, and I had one that I was drinking when I left. So those three ended up being one, and I'm an airhead and forgot to stop and get one more on the way home. <laughs> let me let me guess. You was blonde when he was younger. <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> I can always fix a cup of coffee or something if I want. Yeah. I know I'm going to do away with that carry and get a regular coffee better, pop. You better uh, fix some coffee before mom gets up. <laughs> well, that's what I need. That's why I said I'm going to get a regular coffee pop. The front are sticking up. In the front. I like yeah. the other way the tune's going down the lake and there's two people sitting on the front with their feet in the water and <laughs> the pontoon's going like that. Yeah, they, them soul birds in Arizona, they'll still be there for another month. Oh, yeah? Yeah, when yeah. they get down at courtside, and, well, especially Arenberg, Arenberg uh, Arizona, man, you go down through there and for miles you see nothing but white top campers. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. Oh yeah. I can't remember where I was, but I seen a cool campground. It was on the Ohio River. I think I was looking at it on uh Google Maps. And uh, I was like, man, I'm gonna buy me a camper when mom and dad are gone and I could take it down there and park it on the river and go down there on the weekends or something, you know. 
I ain't catch nothing, gig. I didn't even have a hit last night, but I needed to get there uh, before dark because the lake came up now, and it's they're letting it fill back up, and I uh, wasn't really sure where I was casting and what was out there because I didn't have my markers that I usually use to where to cast. Yeah. Chris, and what's bad is, is that when you see the guy driving and when he goes to get out, when he opens the door, first thing you see pop out is a walker. Then he gets out behind it and he can barely move. And he's yeah. driving one of the big $100,000 RVs. Yeah, yeah. Oh, isn't like, that amazing? It's like, man, what did I do wrong in life? I mean, heck, that's twice as much as my first house cost. Well, that place to run up to. Oh, then yeah, every bit of that, yeah. Depending on what you want to do. I <laughs> hope my door and smoke rolls out. <laughs> Are we on the road, man? No, oh, I think we're parked, man. <laughs> yeah, you go, Cheech. <laughs> oh man, I don't know. I got to get a game plan for today. And if, if it, I don't know if it's going to rain today or not, it was clear when I took the dogs out, I could see the stars. So Chris, if it's clear, uh, road cutting people off. Yeah. <coughs> Stan three said left my ass off. I was thinking the same thing, but yeah, <laughs> I don't know if it's supposed to. I know it's going to rain tomorrow. There's like a 99% chance. Or no, that's Thursday. Today's 40% something, and tomorrow's 50%. It's like a lot of work. Oh, Jody, it is a lot of work because you got to go through there with a good aluminum cleaner, clean it real good, make sure there's no chemical corrosion on it. And then uh, you got to take everything off, and then you got to prime it, then paint it. And it's a lot of work. I did my boat, and I'm telling you. That's 32, no doubt, John. You kidding me? That eclipse works for you. I was wondering, I was wondering if the eclipse affected the bite or not. But I only I had a uh, creek chubs and some uh, shrimp. Oh. Yeah, so maybe that uh, eclipse is a good thing for fishing. So now we have to wait a hundred and some years to find out the next time. Not me. I won't be around it. <laughs> well, I got a. That's what I was sitting there trying to think. I don't know. Morning, Uncle Lou. What the day is going to be like. Morning, Uncle Lou. Well, someone. Yes, I did, Jody, and it came out. I bought the high dollar stuff, uh, and it came out beautiful. It came out perfect. Hmm. But I took, I went and bought that clear coat on my spray gun, and I clear coated it. Not get good, but not bad. What makes you think they'd do that, Chris? They because the, the uh, very extreme holy rollers out there telling everybody the end is near, the world's ended. They evidently are reading a different book than I am because that's not how it happens. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> it, it tells you in the book how it happens, and it has absolutely nothing to do with an eclipse. Yeah, it tells you that you don't know when it's going to happen. Tells you how, but it don't tell you when. <laughs> I mean, I'd have to come back from the dead to do it, Stan. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's nice to see my son and, and his wife and his kids playing and interacting. I mean, they have a good family, and that's nice. My family wasn't like that. You know? I mean, most families back in my day grew up dysfunctional, you know. But they, uh, it, it, it's just, it's good for the head and the heart to see your son become a good a good human, you know, and, and a good father and stuff. So yesterday was good for me. Morning, Just Jeff. 
Hey, Jess Jeff, how are you, buddy? Oops, I'm sorry, Maxi Max. Didn't see you, guy. There you go, Jeff. You got a wrench now. I'm, what are you doing, buddy? Huh? You'll come up to see me today. You took a boy. He's a good boy. He's the most chill cat on earth right here. I know. He's a good guy. What are you doing up here, huh? I don't remember saying Max. What are you doing, huh? What you'll do is take a good spray bleach cleaner, let it soak for a minute, and scrub it, and then wipe it down, and take your vinyl seat cleaner and clean it, make sure you get that bleach off her so it don't dry your seat out. You don't want to put that little cleaner on your... That stuff's got acetone in it. You don't want to put that on. Yeah, bleach... Bleach doesn't actually get rid of mold. It just changes the color where you don't see it. Basically. Yep, that's why you got to scrub it. Morning, Gabe. Hey, Gabe. How are you, buddy? Good to see you, man. No, I imagine not with that acetone and that aluminum cleaner. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't put aluminum cleaner on nothing but aluminum. That's some yeah. pretty harsh chemicals. Make sure you go back over with a good vinyl cleaner. So yeah. it's soap and it water dry, get dry, all dry, dry, dry them out. Yeah, put soap and water to get it all out of the membrane or whatever. What are you doing? I don't have fun. <laughs> John, any any sun is hard on them boat seats. <laughs> don't take the same color as my seats. That's cool. What are you doing, huh? You know what? I, in fact, now that it's starting to warm up, I'm going to, I got two things I need to do. I need to start getting the little boat ready and then get the Sportster out of the garage. And it hasn't been started in two summers. So I got to get it started. Probably have to clean the carburetor, I imagine. And uh, yeah. now I know I'm going to have to replace the battery. That's a given. I haven't had it on the battery tender. So. Yeah, but I'll do that after I get it running. And Here's I want a good to get thing, it. you guys. If you got regular boat seats and you say, "Well, I didn't give me some new seats, but my seats still look like they're new," you can always take the cleaner real good, get any chemical oils off of it, clean it real good, tape up the design you want, cover the rest of it, go buy that vinyl spray paint, the good stuff, and paint that strips that you want. Pull that tape off there and let it dry, and it looks like you wouldn't bought brand new seats. Yeah, John, the reason I ride the Sportster A, it was my dad's, and he's short, so he, he's shorter than I am, so he had to get something he could touch the ground on, and B, it was free. I got a 1984 Moto Guzzi 1000 California Classic. Is that a chick bike, too? It's a good chance it'll outrun your shovel head, I'm just saying. <laughs> yep, yeah, Stan, I've already done the Boat seats once on the Ranger boat. We found uh, blue and white ones that we can replace them with. Mm -hmm. Took it apart, put new cushions in the seat parts, and then put that vinyl over it and stapled it up like they had it. But see, the other part is, John, I'm not in a hurry to get anywhere, so power is not an issue. You got, you got, have you been scratching behind your ear? Huh? You have, haven't you? Don't put your claws out. Uncle Lou, how's your foot doing this morning, Uncle Lou? What? Amazon has BB tops with size shades. Well, there you go, Joe. Okay. Well, yeah, Dave, I, uh, I was been busy for two years. I mean, Dad's not going to write it. I got a picture somewhere on my Instagram, I think. When he was 79, I think it was, we took off on a three or four day trip, rode about 800 or 900 miles. And uh, I rode the Guzzi and he rode the Sportster. And it was all two lane highways through the back down in the mountains of Kentucky and stuff. And uh, had I known it was our last ride, we'd have went longer, but I didn't know it at the time. And, uh, been a lot of good things happen and you know even though dad got cancer or whatever there's still been some good things come out of it that we got to do that we normally wouldn't have got to do if i wasn't here you know him and my brother used to ride on the road i was always racing 
and I wasn't really that big on riding on the road. If I ride on the road, I usually like I'll get up on a Saturday morning and take off and not get back till midnight, you know, and ride three or 400 miles. I don't ride around town or anything like that. But this, you have to, I'll, I'll post some pictures of this Forester. It's it's a pretty nice little bike. Don't let nobody kid you. And I might have a buddy who uh, works at the Harley shop. And he told me to bring it over when I got it running. He's got some camps and stuff he's going to put in it. But see, the other part, I don't like them real loud neither. It's got the stock exhaust, and I'm perfectly happy with that. But, John, you don't understand. This bike is set up pretty comfortable, I'm telling you. My dad was, what, 76 or 7 and rode down South Carolina all the way, one way, all the way through to his buddy's cabin down there. And uh, it's uh, it's set up pretty nice as far as, you know, for taking. The only thing I hate is still got the small tank on it. I'm going to replace it with a bigger tank because you got to stop about every 100 miles and put gas in it. Yeah, I suppose, Gabe, I'm a... I'm partial to my Moto Guzzi, my classic. I'm telling you, that Moto Guzzi is a cool motorcycle. And uh, I need to replace the carburetors on it, though. It's still got the original carbs in 84, and the carbs weren't good in 84, really. The design was kind of funky. And it's uh, what, made in Spain or Italy or something like that. And it's, But the motor itself is pretty cool. It's got the inverted B twins that come out the side instead of in line. And the reason they're out to the side and not in line, then the back one doesn't run hotter than the front one. You know, that Harley engineering. What is it? A uh, hundred years of manufacturing and zero years of technological advances. But it ain't the bike, it's how much you ride and how often. Did you see that smoke, huh? The kid can. <laughs> yeah, that's gigs. Some people moved in next door to me, a rental house in the old neighborhood. And uh, the cat said, I see that little girl, and they got a kitten, and she showed it to me. I'm like, oh, cool, that's so sweet, honey. And then Two weeks later, or so they moved out. And I come home one night and I heard this light meow, <laughs> and I'm like, "Man, there's a cat somewhere around here." And I found him hiding under a bush. He had made him like a little nest out of leaves, and he was down in it. And he was just a little bit of kitten, about like that. So I, well, I can't let you go hungry. So I brought him in the house. His name's Max Maximilian Max for short. Remember when that Honda came out with that black chrome Sportster? I thought that was a pretty good looking bike. It wouldn't have been a Sportster, but it would have. I know what you're talking about. My favorite Harley I ever that I wanted real bad and I didn't get it is with the first first year when Willie G. Davidson took over from AMF, and they came out with a Super Glide that was all black. And just had the orange Harley shield on each side of the tank. I forget what it was called, but it had very, very little chrome on it whatsoever. And uh, it was a bike that Willie G designed himself. Well, I know a guy who bought one, and about 10 years after he had it, he painted it. I'm like, are you serious, dude? You painted a freaking limited edition. All black, super glad, you idiot. Uh, Lord of value on that thing. <laughs> but heck, I'd be happy to ride my dirt bike on the road. It's fun because if you see some trails along a river or something, you can just jump off and go, go ride the trails and pop back out on the highway somewhere. 
But I'll get the Guzzi going this year, maybe. And Lawrence is cool sonar, but man, they're expensive. I have a little bit of Lawrence, just a bit about that big. I don't know, Dad bought it somewhere and it's never been used yet, but we got the transponder and stuff. Think with a swim. <laughs> no, actually, John, bicycle wise, I had what was called a PK Ripper. In 1982, I raced for Goldman's Bike Shop, and the PK Ripper was the coolest bike out at the time. It cost me 900 and some dollars back then, and I worked all summer at it at the Career Center mowing grass and stuff to pay for it. And it was one of them bikes where you, where I went to the bike shop and picked each part out of the catalog that the guy that owned the shop that we rode for had, and it was all custom built. It was cool. It was a lot of money back then. I didn't even have a car. I still had the old van that, I mean, downhill it might run 60. The Volkswagen van. Patty Cake Ripper. Yep, exactly the PK Ripper. Only the coolest frame ever made, I thought. And Snee Racing was the company that made them. They made the PK Ripper, and they made a thing called a quad angle frame. It was really kind of weird looking, but it was it was balanced real well or something and light. Gold Swin Stingray. What well, remember this the Swin Orange Crush, and the other one that had the slick tire in the back about that thick, and had the shifter in the front and the Springer front end. I had a Garmin and James ran over it and busted it. It well, worked Joe, about it. Take it back in. It should have been unwarranted. Yeah. Unless you just got it from somebody or something. But yeah, about a month, man. No way. Don't you think, Max? You're in heaven right now, ain't you? Pop doesn't ever let me sit on his lap this long. Yeah, buddy, buddy, buddy. Yeah, they had one called the Orange Crush, and I forget what the other one. There were three different colors of them, if I remember correctly. My first BMX bike was a Mongoose. It was kind of heavy, but it was all right for, you know, when I first got into BMX. Huh. Okay, little guy, you can get down now. All right, buddy, buddy. I know. I would have said a limb fell off and hit that thing. <laughs> mm -hmm. There you go, buddy. Have a good day. Just put a water and it won't scan. Wow. I'll be contacting Garmin. I don't care if you got it on Amazon or not. It should be under warranty. Yeah, Jimmy Geiger, that's the one. And the back tire was actually a slick. It was a flat slick. Morning, Curtis Cunningham. Morning, yeah. dog and I. How are you today, Curtis Cunningham? Take your transducer and make sure it's set in the level. I remember having a bicycle or swim at a wide, solid, flat tire on the back. Yeah. But that seat with a little deal on the back of it. This is the bar in the back, yep. And the little front little front wheel with the with the springer front end. Yeah. You go around, slam the brakes, make that black mark, and then when you go to the ride, it goes bump, bump, bump. <laughs> See Wardell. <laughs> Yep, had the banana seat and the sissy bar. Yep. My buddy still got one. The orange crush ones, the orange ones. Yeah, I don't know if we'd call it a banana, though, John. 
maybe a uh, oh what's the word I'm looking for Dang it. It's smaller than a banana I can't remember what they're called now <laughs> But yeah, I haven't never used, I uh, downloaded the manual for the, the Lorentz thing Pop has because he lost the box in the manual. He's not big on manuals. Yeah, v, being a sausage holder, that'll work. Pouch, hammock, <laughs> transgender. <laughs> but I, you know, we got the... the the transgender thing whatever it's called mounted and got a place where it mounts and everything it's ready to go i just get it comes out and goes back in and if i read the instruction right it actually does everything i want to do which is be able to see the contour the bottom and know the depth i mean that's about all i really care about On a little hill, my goodness, don't fly. Oh man, dude, John, that didn't even sound right. <laughs> I need a new transgender on my depth finder. Yeah, you, know, you throw him in the water and have him go down and see how long it takes him to get to the bottom. <laughs> okay, come back up now. It's eight feet. Let's go. Get him a can with a string. Tell him to put this here. Do you see any fish down there? Okay, it's 20 feet this time. A little harder. I'll get you back to the surface eventually. Oops. It way too right. long. He's talking with big teeth. <laughs> yep, stingrays did. There was a stingray, and then there was the... Uh, I forget they had a name for it, but there were three different colors, and the only one I remember is the Orange Crush because my buddy's got one. But I think there was a green one and something else. My dog laying over snoring. Or y'all don't hear. Globe, 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 10 feet. Really? Now, see, I've been watching this side imaging thing on with j Dog on this boat, and I still ain't got a handle on how that, I don't know, for some reason it doesn't click with me, you know what I mean? It, yeah. It's weird. I just, I mean, I can look at it and understand, I don't know. Y'all don't hear that? Like a dragon. That's a good one. Stand through you right there. That's a really good one. Mm. <laughs> oh, man. I need to straighten up my desk. It's a mess. Yeah, I do too. I got weld helmets. I just got this right here back yesterday. And what's that? Take a while, guess. <laughs> Gun cleaning kit. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's, it's, it, what's in there is what you use the kit for. <laughs> what you use the what? What do you use the gun cleaning kit for? Oh. <laughs> I got to clean my desk. I got caps everywhere. Well, helmet. I got all kinds of stuff on here. I just got junk. I got bills and just junk laying here that doesn't need to be here. Well, I go at noon today to to pick up the rental car that the insurance is going to pay for that guy's insurance until I get mine fixed. What happened? But a guy backed into that Dodge Challenger and smashed the whole thing in front of him. You are kidding me. And now when you drive it, uh, you could be driving along there, and if you go to pass a car to give it gas, it wants to just flutter, bro. And it, and then you have to let off of it and wait a little bit, and then it pick back up. Oh my God, there's something wrong. All right, John. 
<laughs> Me stone fly? Are you, is that what you're saying? I could have it? Huh. Okay, I'll I'll get with you. I'll give you my number before this is over with and you can text me. 798CIHDSI combo. I don't know anything. The numbers are pretty much, you know, foreign language to me, but I'm sure I can uh, get the manual and stuff on. That's a great, you know, the internet's such a good thing. Uh, anything you need, you can get like user's manuals for whatever it is. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't really need anything like that. My buddy's Bass Tracker, he's got two Garmin's on it, I think there are one in the front and one in the whatever, captain seat or whatever where you drive. And uh, See, this, this is one I use right here for just for crappie. Oh, let me see it. Hold it back up again. Hummingbird. See, that's what we had before. Is that the yeah. one where the little fish swim across? Yeah, it's a little hummingbird. And uh, yeah, that, that had I, little... turn that, I turn them sounds off. I don't care to see the fish. I just want to see the contour because I yeah. know where the fish are at. Dad used to drive me crazy <laughs> with that because he couldn't hear. Well, he would be in the back of the boat where it's at and turn it on. And yep. I'm like you, I don't watch the fish. I don't want to know that those fake things coming across are fish, but yep. you would leave the beep on. And, and yeah, you could come across the fish that long, and that you come a little yeah. school of man, that's like a beep, 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 beep. Well, he couldn't yeah. hear it, so he didn't know it was doing it. And I was like, so, man, are you kidding me? And I'd keep going back there and turning the volume off, like, pop. Don't turn that off. I got the volume off. It's perfect right now. You can just look at the picture. Well, why? Yeah. I didn't hear it beeping. I'm like, yeah, no, you can't hear it. And you're sitting right next to it, but I can hear it in the front of the boat. Yeah. I can, uh, I got it set for it. Just shows the big fish. I don't want the medium or small. Yeah. I need to know how deep they are and I need to know that contour because it, that right there might be a black and white screen, but it'll show the contour and what's down there. Yeah, that's all. Yeah, exactly. The con That's what I was talking about, the one I got now. You know, it shows me what's on the bottom and the depth, and that's all. I don't know, water temperature and stuff, but yeah, that's all I need. <laughs> like it's YouTube, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but the side scan thing, I've looked at it on J-Dog's boat and uh, – I don't know. It just doesn't make sense to me for some reason. I understand what it's doing, but I like the, you know, the view where it shows the bottom and you can see the trees and stuff down there. And that's all I really want. But I'm sure if I understood the side scan better that I would understand it. Yard ornament, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the first thing I got to do is blow the leaves out of the little boat because I didn't get the cover on them when we moved back here. There's just too much going on. And next thing I know, it's winter time and there's a bunch of leaves and stuff in it. Best part about it, though, it's all plastic. And I just got to get the power washer and hose it out. Yeah. Yeah, you know, Stan 3, I, I, I'm i sure, like, when we're going down the Licking River, for instance, you know, it's it's not super, super wide. The river ain't maybe 60 or 70 feet across in places. And, you know, he, he slowed down when we come up, and there were some logs over and stuff, and he showed me, but I just didn't, you know, he showed me, like, if you look here, you can see in the log and the, that blank spot beside it or whatever, but and they're gonna keep on with them things that eventually it'll be like a camera, like looking right here in the water. Oh, there's that yeah. big fish here. I'm dropping bait in front of him. Yeah, squirrel has good videos on side scan. I'll, I'll I'll watch some of them then. But like I said, all I really need is the like Rusty was talking, the contour of the bottom and you know the depth is all I'm really concerned with. And the water temperature and actually because that determines on how deep you're going to fish. 
Oh, really? An upper GI? I've had that done. Oh, yeah. I'm not talking about live scope. I'm talking about the actual camera camera. <laughs> I could stay anchor Saturday at the dam for all the traffic going by. They would run up to the dam and drift back. I believe I could have a couple hours. You compare the Apple Vision Google's goggles to the live scope. Wow. Didn't know that. Three fish, huh? You know, Jody, I have that problem having never used circle hooks until now. It's really hard to get to change a lifelong habit of grabbing it and setting the hook. You know what I mean? And uh, the real and down part, especially um, if I'm bank fishing and I'm setting, say, 10 or 12 feet from the pole and it starts getting a hit and I, you know, walk over to get the pole off. I grab the pole and pull instead of sitting down and reeling down. One of the Guggen squad guys made a video of, oh, that'd be pretty awesome. Yeah, Stonefly, the one I had that was on that boat, it, it showed bait clusters, and I was just learning that where I could throw a net and possibly catch some bait. Yeah, I can't wait to learn how to throw the cast net. I'm going to practice out in the yard. Yeah, but I hate if I can see the fish and I know they're there, but they won't bite. That's like, you know, I drive, you drive me nuts. Like, I know you're down there. Bite the damn bait. <laughs> I've sent everything you could ever want to eat down, and you're just sitting there looking at it. I was going was like buying half another live scope unit. Yeah. <laughs> live scope's okay, but. It takes the fun out of searching for the fish, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's something I'll never own, so it doesn't even matter to me. I don't even want to know how it works or anything. It's That's just something that's way, way beyond my price range. And Yeah. Bugs soak it fabric softener first. <laughs> No, Danny, uh, Rusty's going to do Thursday, and uh, I just kind of planned it by year, to be honest with you. There wasn't a, a set plan, but, you know, I'll probably just keep doing it until I get tired of doing it, I reckon. I'm, I'm always going to do Monday and Friday, but other than that, I don't know. I, uh, like... Tomorrow, for instance, I got to go to the VA. I got a doctor's appointment. And, uh, Honestly, I got to get my schedule down. I got to leave here at 5 ish, 5 30 ish, something like that. You know, it doesn't still work because you can't make them buy it. Hey, Lyoscope, it, it's pretty neat. If you come up on a brush pile and you can actually see the fish moving around in it, that's pretty cool. Yeah. It's great for bait, though. Yeah, that would be awesome to use for live scope for. I've seen it where a guy had one that was on a video, and he was on a bait pile, and you could see it, just a wad of it. And he threw yeah. his cast net, you see the cast net come down. Huh. And it went over, and he it went over, and he pulled. You see the fish going up to the catch that's the top, and he pulled on it, and he said, "I got more fish than I could pull up." 
<laughs> yeah. I mean, just just like that on that screen, that the water fish that was there was gone. But it was all in it then. I'm like, <laughs> that's pretty neat to watch that net just. Yeah, that would be cool. Right down top of them. I thought that's pretty cool. Hundred years they'll be having you little robots on the boat. You just sit back and they just throw the rods out. Real me, look at the fish you caught. There are little <clears throat> robotic baits that swim around and find the fish, and then tease in front of the fish until it bites it. <laughs> uh oh, I just invented something robotic bait. Mm hmm. They got one out. It's like a metal type deal. You can set it for injured, little swim. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You can swim up and then sink and then swim up. And I'm like, they catch fish with it. Well, my camera went blurry. I have a deeper 2.0. You can throw it in. Throw it with fishing pole. I haven't used it yet. Looking forward to using it when I go fishing. Heck, that's what I need with something you throw with the fishing pole. <laughs> <laughs> Joey just drives. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to use Jody everywhere I go. I, even if it's somewhere I've never been, I look at the map and usually just memorize it. And <clears throat> I always turn the voice off on the... Uh, oh, Lord, I just went blank. I'm not awake. <laughs> on the, the yeah, call I'm in the car. <laughs> Hmm, I need to go stick my head outside and wake up. Soapstone. I've heard the word. I have to think about it for a minute, gig. Soapstone. Soapstone. What is a soapstone? Did uh is it a sharpening stone or something? <laughs> okay, okay. I wonder if that's an excuse in court, Uncle Lou, when you get there. You know, I didn't mean to speed. I just drive by feel, though. It felt comfortable, so I drove that speed. <laughs> How's your prop feel about one? Today she drives a bit by feel also. Just starting to get light back there. <clears throat> hey, Curtis, where's Eric at? He working today? <clears throat> or is it still early before him? I don't know what time it is. I tried to get Curtis come up here, but <laughs> he won't do it. I think he fell asleep. I like the bell sleep. 
when you're bumping off things, you know you're not in the right spot. <laughs> My tilt switch is broke. Hey, it ain't nothing. Get you another switch, take it out, unplug the wires, plug it up, push it back in. There you go. Tonight, I thought on a pontoon that the motor set high enough on the trailer that you didn't have to have a tilt on it. Oh, yeah. Trying. So, soapstone mm. is for making like ceramic pots or countertop. I don't know. I use soapstone to mark on metal. Plus, well, it would help me fix the tilt switch. Cool. <laughs> other other uses for soapstone, I don't know. <laughs> All I know is I used to mark on metal with. Really? All right, gig man. Good luck, buddy. Be safe out there. All right. And I know you're gonna catch fish today. Yeah, be safe out there, Gigabilly. <laughs> Couple hundred pounds, that's what I'm talking about. You okay, Max? Mm -hmm. He's got something wrong with his jaw. It's almost like something gets caught or something in his jaw. And he makes that noise every every now and then. He shakes his head, but I don't have the money to take him to the vet for, you know, something. Mm. It's probably going to cost a lot of money when you x-ray and everything else. So it could be a bone spurter. Could cut itself and hopefully you don't get it could, well, it's, it's been that way for a long time it could be a, a tooth grew in finally or something i don't know but yeah, yeah it's been that way since it was you know probably a kitten i would say and i don't know what it is like i said it could be a tooth back there or something i just don't know but <clears throat> sometimes it gets stuck and he gets pretty excited Hey, good morning, Don. How are you, buddy? Good morning, Donald. Yeah, the problem with my dog is like his owner's fat. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> now, she comes in here, looks at me, and I go in the living room, see what she wants. She gets on the couch and lay down, and she'll look at my chair like it's time to take a nap. <laughs> yeah. Little guy comes in here at night after it gets about 11 and looks at me. He'll stand there for about 15, 20 seconds. Then he said, all right, dude, never mind. He'll go get in bed with mom. <laughs> Mine this morning, 2 o'clock. I don't know what she was thinking. I guess she had to go outside bad, what she did. But she come in there, like, making this whining. I was sitting there sound asleep. I thought somebody said, get up. So I looked up. She was standing there looking at making this weird noise. And she had to go outside. And uh, well, two o'clock this morning, I said, "Man, that, could you wait until three thirty? <laughs> oh, cool, Eric. I'll check it out. Uh, it was Eric. pretty awesome. I know that man. I'm telling you, it was one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Yeah. And uh, 
watching it on video and stuff is just not the same because you can't, you know, you can't feel the wind picking up and the temperature dropping, and it was just, it was really <laughs> cool. Yeah, I got a picture of it when it was in full, and all you could see was a, a big yellow ring with a black dot. <laughs> <laughs> yep. But it just amazed me how it went from a yellow sun when it's fully yeah. clipped. You look up, it was just a white flares coming out around it. You could actually see the the flares coming out around the moon there. I'm like, wow. Yep. That was cool too, I mean. I had Rusty Snub Bro sit to you too. <laughs> I tried to uh get video of it, but it just didn't come out. I don't know how to take pictures in the dark because I can't never get it to focus or zoom in. Like if I'm trying to take a picture of the moon on, you know, a great big clear moon night or whatever, it just, it, it won't focus on it. And if I try to zoom it in, you know, it still just, you know, when you take the picture, it just looks like a big, you know, glowing dot. I'll send my number to Curtis and he can give it to you. I don't think I got you on a uh, Facebook. I might have you on Messenger. I'll look. So can you uh, send files through Messenger and stuff, like pictures and videos and stuff? Yeah. Okay, Don. Got to enjoy your morning. If you try to go through your uh, text message on the phone and ask you to trim it down, but you can go through Facebook Messenger and it'll load the whole thing. Oh, really? Yeah. Interesting. And I guess you can have Facebook Messenger without having the Facebook, can't you? Yes. Yes. Hmm. Hmm. If I had Rustic's number, I'd send it to him. I don't know if I got it or not either. Eric, you working today? It might be a little cloudy out there this morning. It ain't raining on you. We got lucky because there was just some light clouds started coming in yesterday. And I was like, oh, man, please don't do that. And they <laughs> stayed away long enough. Yeah, they here they just said we had some thin, thin line yeah. cloud. It was so far up, they wasn't going to affect it. And <laughs> it got dark enough to make my solar light come on. The oh, street really? Light, the street yeah. lights and stuff like that. Like I said, I thought it was neat how the birds were flying around. As soon as it hit that peak point, the birds all went poop and it dead yep. silence. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Like, oh shit, what's happening? It's not my time. Shut up, go to sleep. <laughs> Nineteen fabulous people coming in here hanging out this morning. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah, I told my wife when it got told the darkness, so time to go to bed. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's probably interesting. Interesting. definitely probably the last one in my lifetime. Oh yeah, mine too, for sure. In fact, I have to look what it says about, I mean, not even a total eclipse like that, but, you know, they have some of their partial eclipse and, and things like that, too. That, yeah. Morning, Dale. How's Dale doing this morning? Hmm. Hey, Dale. Hey, Slip. How are you, buddy? Oh, man. I got to make myself wake up somehow. I'm struggling here this morning. That <coughs> water boy ain't nothing. <laughs> no. Not at all, actually. It's kind of weird, man. I can 
just get up from a nap or whatever, even come in here and sit to do stuff on the laptop and I get the head nods, you know. Oh, that's awesome. Baby was born. Awesome. Did Eclipse, baby. How cool was that? <clears throat> you know, they tell the news yesterday that uh, they said that the eclipses have happened several times a year, but they're so far out in yeah. the ocean that nobody notices them. Yeah, yeah, I heard that too. Oh, Dale's getting ready for work. <laughs> Stone fly. Lift me up. Fly. Mm, I should go splash some cold water on my face, I reckon. Get woke up. It'd be a stage name. And welcome to the stage. Eclipse. <laughs> 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 uh, I wasn't going to go there, but I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> yeah, there's going to be one overseas in August. Yeah. <laughs> really? I don't think I can go that far. <laughs> Might get to watch it on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they say that there's a lot of them that occurs during the year, but hardly nobody notices them because they're so far out in the, in the oceans and stuff that People just don't notice that that's going on. Just think of it, they announced it. Total darkness out in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. How many people would pay charters to go out there? Yeah, that's probably true. Just think of all the money they paid around these motels just to come drive here to look for four minutes of darkness. <laughs> Yeah, but we had to convince Dad to take his glasses off when it got to that point. We had like three minutes or something. Like, Pop, take your glasses off. It's safe. He's an old iron worker, so, you know, <laughs> he didn't trust that. He got, you know, he was, well, I'll go get my well in the hood. <laughs> I'm like, these goggles are probably well, okay. If you got the proper glasses, once it got full blown eclipse, you couldn't see nothing to their glasses anyway. Well, yeah, not at all. That's what dad said. I lost it. I said, yeah, take your glasses off, Bob. I was watching a news interview this morning. And uh, it was a YouTube deal from yesterday. And they was interviewing people. And they was actually looking up at the sun with no glasses. I said, y'all crazy. Yeah, they you are. Know how powerful that is coming down like that? No, Eric, I will. Hold on. I have to do it on my phone here. Let me see. It better not be some gross thing either. I want to get you back. <laughs> you got milk buggy? Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> I know there's something about this that's gonna, but I'll give it. I'll give him a chance, like I trust him. Hmm. The eclipse comes over to be Trump's butt shaking up. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, you suck. <laughs> Did you send that to Lou already? <laughs> <laughs> I am going to forward this, though, for sure. <clears throat> forward, maybe. 
<laughs> I want to watch it. I might not <laughs> want. I might regret it. <laughs> yeah, you may not want to believe me, but I got to figure out how you forward it now, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, oh look he's laughing <laughs> swinging low man <laughs> I might not want to see that <laughs> there we go I have to save it to send it that's what it is okay he said yes I did <laughs> yeah, okay that's cool mm -hmm. I'm going to send it to my son <laughs> oh my goodness was too cloudy to hear to see it. I just got a different dark for a couple minutes, then back to normal and started raining. Wow. Justin's that there we go. Yeah, there I, funny. I'm gonna do what? Mm. So whatever it is, it must be funny. Yeah, I'll, I think Eric and I'm gonna send it to you, aren't I? Hmm. Good morning, Daniel Stone. Let's see. How do I do that? I saved it as a file or something. Hmm. Oh, look at that. The sun's coming up in Bugman's. Look how blue that is. Well, that's that's definitely showing it a lot different than it actually is. Believe me, and it's still pitch black here. <laughs> it's a, <clears throat> it's cloudy. Hmm. That's what uh, my buddy sent it to me. <laughs> yeah, it's like yesterday. I was telling him I was live. I said, "Y'all can see this, but the camera pulls in a lot of the light, and it makes it brighter than what it actually was." Mm -hmm. I said that there's nothing like an experience in one person. Oh, it was on a text. That's right. I'm trying to figure out how to forward this to someone. There we go. <laughs> I'll make sure Uncle Luke gets this. <laughs> There we go. Got if you it. receive anything from the twins, 90% chance it's perverted in one way or another. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a fact. Well, they think it's funny and they want to share the love. <laughs> and sometimes it is funny. <laughs> yeah. Got milk, Uncle Lou? <laughs> Mm -hmm. I figure Eric be up here driving, going to work. It's not as bad as the milk picture. <laughs> <laughs> the BDB picture. <laughs> That's after I remodified it. <laughs> I sent it back out. <laughs> well, J Dog, give me a response on that one. <laughs> <laughs> It's all in fun. Oh, trust me, he sent it to you already. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I think Curse has got my number. You can get it from him. Is it raining on oh, are you up there still, Eric? Man, it was so foggy here yesterday morning. And coming back, I hit a great big old spot that was clear as sun was shining. You can look yeah. back the fog, and it looked like mountains. It was so high in the air that fog was. Huh. Ah, wow, look how blue it is there. Why does the camera look like that? What the heck is up with that? Must just be the time of morning. 
Oh, he's already yeah. in the truck. Well, if you see behind mine, out that door there, it's yeah. not blue like that. No, on the camera, it looks blue like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that fog was so prominent from the ground up so high up in the air, man. It was thick, and it, it looked like actually we had mountains in the background. <laughs> It's like mm. a wall. And then you can actually see it when it started warming up a little more during the day. We had no wind, but you can actually see that Mississippi River was pulling towards the river. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. That's weird thing. It's going to soak it all back in itself. Trust me, when I got back to Risco, it was so thick there that the street lights were still on. I was like, man. And then all it cleared up. I said, well, thank goodness. And you always have an idiot that drives too fast when it's foggy like that. Yeah. But I'm talk about Jody like that. <laughs> the world <laughs> seems to be fuller and fullier. Fuller and fuller of idiots these days. I don't know why. I mean, they put dumb juice in the water or what? I'm saying because they took shop class out of school. Shop class? Oh, man. Man. Yep, where you learn the common sense. We're off and running. Yep. So what's everybody going to do today? Me? I got to go at noon to pick up that rail car. Then they're supposed to come. I don't know when they're supposed to come, but they're supposed to come with a rollback and get that Challenger and take it somewhere and have it fixed. I don't know. They got to contact me on that yet. Oh, really? Yeah. Is it not drivable? Uh, you can drive it, but if you go to give it any kind of gas, it, uh, I mean, you can slowly, barely slowly push that pedal and eventually to pick up the speed yeah. and maintain it. But if you try to just give it gas just to go, I mean, it, it would almost bog down to where it shut the motor down. Huh. And the RPMs run way up. It's like, oh, no, this ain't no good. No. I don't know what it He hit hard enough that he's charged something on that motor. Yep. It could be some kind of something that like a transmission sensor or whatever that's supposed yeah, to kick it uh, you know, tells the transmission when to kick in or whatever yeah it's it's something because before you get in it man you can just give that thing the gas tromp down on it and it hit 80 mile an hour in a split second seems like i mean it would hit it in a split second but it was very quick jump to 80 mile an hour hmm. Yeah, no, well, I wouldn't I be doing something like that. Get me killed. Back in the seat. Mm -hmm. Yep, I need to get a foot rest set right here so I can lean back. Yell light, yell light, yell light. <laughs> floor it, floor it, floor it. My daddy always said. Yeah. We do that. My wife will kiss her hand, throw it on the, on the windshield. That's why you just smear my windshield for <laughs> What's up, Brian B., you big fart sniffer, you? Yeah, oh, Brian, okay. I got this number two. I can send that to him, too. What's that? I could send Brian that, that video. Yep. Yeah, he won't see that eclipse. <laughs> I got to get me a four by four. I got to put a new mailbox up. The ground's a little, I don't know if it, it should be soft enough to dig right now. <laughs> He'll pitch black out again. 
<laughs> Good morning, Eddie Gross. I got so much crap I gotta go through, man. All right, B said, good morning, bedwetters. Hey, at least we'll have uh, water beds. Exactly. And heated water beds. When Brian goes to bed, he wears a life jacket so he don't float away. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Oh, see. Yeah. I don't think we're going to hit a sunrise this morning. We might. Yeah, we I kind of check that forecast, see if it's changed or not, because it sure don't look like partly sunny to me. Hey, good morning, Eddie. How are you, buddy? Huh. Say, it sure don't look like clear skies and sun to me. I know this. No, low chance of rain until after sunset, anyway. Hmm. What have I got to happen tomorrow? Looks like it's going to rain tomorrow, naturally. I got to go see a house. I hate when that happens. Tuesday, cloudy, slight chance of rain showers, high 72, with southwest winds at 10 to 20 mile per hour. Ooh. 10 to 20 mile an hour winds, yeah, that's not going to be good today. Maybe it is a good thing I went last night. Boy, well, here yesterday was the Perfect day to fish, man. Hardly no wind at all. Oh, it was beautiful yesterday. Even when the eclipse hit, the winds didn't pick up. And I was like, Hoo. okay, it's going to rain Thursday and Friday both days. Yeah, they was called here for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Part of it Thursday, Friday was supposed to be the next best day, but. Every 12 hours, the weather changes. Or every mm -hmm. season. You never know. Yep, and that didn't really tell me much. It just says it's going to rain. Yeah, like oh, one day, 90% chance of rain here. And all we got was a couple of drops. <laughs> that was it. Yeah, yeah, I hate when that happens. I thought, well, there goes my day. I, I could have made plans. <laughs> yep. Ryan B going through all the hellos and everybody. I like MJ. just saying, you know, when it's pouring down rain, I like having a, the big picture window open up the blinds, the curtains on that thing, and just yep. sit there watching the rain. Did NJ come in this morning? I ain't seen NJ. Not this morning. Yeah. Okay, I couldn't remember if it was this morning or yesterday. Yesterday, he came in yesterday. Oh, come on now. Don't be like that. What am I looking for here? Yeah. Okay, I guess not. I wonder where the Jay Puppy Man is. Uh, you know where Jay Dog's at. In bed? <laughs> yeah, he, he's back here doing this. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Get, a message, I'll be, get another message telling me I'm number one again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get those off. Oh, Dave Bogart. How is Dave this morning? Oh, 
Oh, no, there's how many drops off? you got in the morning? One. How many drop offs you got today? Nine. 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 Busy day. Oh, I'll be right back. I gotta go let my son oh. in. Oh, okay. I'm gonna lay my coffee box wrong. Hey, Brozart. Good morning, buddy. No, mm. oh, it's not like pops moving. Keep snoring. Keep nah, snoring. I mean. Oh, that's what he's doing. He's coming here to raid my coffee pot. Man, he made a noise. I'm listening to see if he's getting up or not. Well, that's awesome, Dave. I don't guess he is. Hopefully, he's not. Okay, put this back up on the charger. Mm. Mm. Stretch. I don't know what happens, but always happens about halfway through this, I start getting the nods, like trying to nod out and stuff, and I don't know how to stop it from happening every time. Probably by eating something healthy, maybe. Hmm. No way to go. I'll be right back. Pop's getting up. Play the ball. Get over if there's police. Broken down car on the side of the road. That's had it. Hey, you don't slow down. This is just top pole right there, man. They already got somebody pulled over. They're busy. So how is everybody out there on the, in the YouTube world on this lovely Tuesday morning? 
It's only Tuesday and I'm already wishing it was Friday. Just hope it don't rain this week. That way the grass can dry. Boat out and show how show these people that want to fish Hoover this weekend how it's actually done. Skip was up there yesterday. I think he only caught seven, the biggest 21. I think it's Buddy Ruth GoPro out. Let's catch the line. Anybody watch that yesterday? Clearview Outdoors was live on Hoover yesterday. Buddy catch it out his GoPro. Should call Skip and ask him, was that in a waterproof case? Buck man be back here to go take care of Pops. I don't know what Rustic's doing. Maybe he's watching that video on Blue, maybe send it to him. <laughs> Can't send it to him right now. Subscribe. In the eclipse was cool and all, but I mean, it's too much of a big deal out of it. Well, maybe it's because I wasn't in what do they call it, total totality or whatever they call it, or it's total blackout. Remember, I've seen videos of it on uh, YouTube. Facebook of a, a Cleveland Guardian. They had a baseball game up there. It looked pretty cool up there. I think that box around there. Do you want? Jody wants to know, uh, Eric, do you want to do another 1v1? I think it will be fun to watch. You can host it on your channel. Yeah. Well, if you know, Jody, you never do 1v1 because I always have my brother with me. I don't fit without my brother. Brothers of destruction. <laughs> Just call it a handicap. <laughs> yeah, it's a handicap fishing match. Yeah. Or she can get James, and I mean, it could be a 2v2. There you go. I know what she's thinking. She goes, that's fine. I'll beat both of you. That's what she's thinking. <laughs> Fancy, yeah. fancy boat versus poor boat. How are that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> poor pontoon and fancy stuff. What are they called? That boat James has got. Oh, I don't forget what that's called. I can't think of the name of it now. Yeah, I can't remember it neither. Then it start with the W or something like that. What is the name of that? I'm trying to think of it.
chapter tune up the nine point nine, make sure it's running. Mm -hmm. Nine, I'll just throw my fucking ear on there. I know that'll hold on or I'll start right up. Oh, use crap. That's what it is. It's a use, use yeah. crap. Yep, it wasn't an M, it was an H. Good call. Yeah. I suppose. Yeah. But it is. we all don't yeah. really like fishing from that pot anymore. Yep. Mm. That boat's got to be heavy, though. Use oh, crap. Yeah, yeah, with all the stuff it has on it, I would assume. And it's got to catch the wind too when you're, you know, when you're pulling it. Mm hmm. Yeah. Woodpeckers out this morning. Uh -huh. I'd, rather, I'd rather just have my pontoon. It's more comfortable. Look at that. So trying to pick up slowly. Get, get one of them old lazy boys to put on it. Hey, there you go, Jody. Jody said Pot 2 versus Pot 2. Call it the Pot 2 Wars. A whole new series. Hey. Hey, yeah, I place what I plan on getting is a Pot 2. Yeah, that's if I buy a boat, that's what it's going to be, too. Because it's just too comfortable, man. Yeah, Jody, I was talking to. John Order yesterday when I was after I saw the boat, I saw he's asking what I was gonna get. I said, I'll think about pontoon, that's what I really want. And uh and I said we can start a pontoon deal. Him go fishing on this, we'll go fishing on John John Oiler's in the pontoon, that thing's a freaking bar. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yep. But that's cool. A lot of rooms. Yep, a lot of people fish off pontoons. Yep. I just know the small. Well, I want one. I'm a big guy, and I want one I can walk around. And I'll be more safe. Yeah, exactly. That's that's my whole thing. Is I want something I can get up and walk around in and be comfortable. Yep. My whole thing is I can lay down and take a nap. Yep. <laughs> I seen one yesterday. I think it's here in town. I'm not sure, but it's a it's a it's probably a 28. 30 foot pontoon or something like that. Uh, but it's got a, a cabin on it. It's open, but you can put side screen up on it or whatever. Yeah, and look, and look, I, look, 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 yeah. and I thought, man, that's that's awful big. <laughs> mm -hmm. Morning, Steve Mosley. Hey, good morning, Nate. Good morning, Stephen Mosley. Good to see you guys this morning. Hey, Nate. Wabash Nate. Look, Cloudy up there, no, Nate. I looked at that pontoon yesterday. Man, that thing is gigantic sitting up here. I'm like, ah, that's just, that's way too much for me. Which one's that? The one that's up here in town, I guess. Oh. If I remember, I've got up here. And uh, that thing is gigantic. Go on, go lay down, honey. Go on, it's all right. I didn't even know they made them that long. Well, yeah, I did. Never mind. I'm thinking. I think it's a 28. I think it's a 28. I thought it was 30. Oh no, I've been on it, Rustic. Have you? No, I ain't been on it. I, I just know. He, I think he told me it was a 28. Yeah, we it's have. We went. But the first, very first Midnight Madness, John brought it down yeah. the Hoover here, floating around on it. That's yeah, cool, Nate. It's cloudy here, it looks like. I don't see the sun. He, uh, he bought that new motor. He's re, he repositioned his steering column and everything on it. Like he said, now I got more room. Yeah, that would be seen. And that's kind of what I'd like to get an older pontoon. That the tunes in the frame is all good on, but you know, then I can yeah. replace all the wood and set it up how I want. Yeah, that's what we had J Dog do to ours. What's the matter, buddy? Huh? What you want? Huh? What's the matter with my guy, huh? 
Did you see Peter? You want to go outside? I'm, I'm yeah. trying to look at that one. It's got a. It's open on the tail end, but it's got a seat that sets back a little bit, like a bench seat type deal you can sit on. I think that yeah. would be more convenient for me. That way I can lay there, throw my legs up, and watch the rods. Yeah. And still be up under the canopy there. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Then on the front, I can throw a little generator and a little air conditioner blowing all the time. <laughs> I like the fact you can sleep on them, you know. And yeah. I think Kevin Palmetto Cats has the best setup, man. That's awesome. Completely enclosed it. Have you seen that one, Chad Thompson's? Get ready and stuff. It's enclosed and everything. It's, it's nice got a bunk in it. Yeah, I just get one of them uh, one of them things you used to float around on the water in the beach. And one of them long things, I don't know what they're called. And floats, some long floats. Oh, oh, no, no. Yeah. Blow one of them up and I lay it on the floor and I go to sleep. <laughs> I love night fishing. And, you know, I'm the one that drives, so I got to get a little rest before we go home. So that's what I normally do. Yeah. Loose that raft. I like, I like to have one that's got a. Here we go. Come on, let's go. <clears throat> what? I like to take my tablet out there and then we would be watching TV or watch a football game or a baseball game while we're sitting out there fishing. Take a little hot, quiet generator out there and plug the TV up. Big, big old widescreen. <laughs> <laughs> Run your hot spot off your phone. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Oh, when you went back in, Till. Well, that's a good thing about Hoover. You get good reception up there. The only place you don't is when you go into the Twins. Just back in one of the coves. Yeah, I like to get one that's got a little, you know, the little aluminum frame with the top on it, and it's open around, and then build mm. the aluminum playing with screen that I can place in for summertime fishing to keep the mosquitoes out yeah. and then build another little frame with some plexiglass to put in there for wintertime fishing where I can run a little heat in there. And then like, why not take the armchair? Yeah. And put me a lazy board recliner on it. You're going to say might as well. <laughs> I'm going to go to the used furniture store and find one. Yep. Put the rod holders on each side of it. We can just set back and Get a bite, reach over, grab it, start reeling. Yep. If you're going to be out there, you got to be comfortable, man. I agree. It'd almost be like bank fishing, only you can move. <laughs> yep. Like uh, John Orton was having a yard sale, and he had these two chairs out there. Nice chairs. I mean, nice ones. I said, man, why don't you mount them on that pond table? <laughs> I said, I'm going to buy Minus 20 foot, it's too big for just me. I could easily go down to 16. Yep, and as soon as you do, you're going to say, Man, I wish I'd kept my 20 foot. Yep, yep. The 16 is small and it's narrow. You know, Nate, I, uh, after the eclipse, I went to the gas station to get gas for the mower. In Highway 3, there was a lot of traffic on there, and I just figured that was probably what that was from. They were all headed back north, so I figured they came down and over here from, you know, because the news was saying, you know, the places to go or whatever, and I think Muncie was one of them. Uncle Lou said, Jody, a 16-foot won't support 20 rods. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. I'd hate to have to load and unload all them rods. 
six is plenty for me, and then that's a handful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like six, but at least I like to have 18 rod holders. Hey, Mr. Sanchez, good morning to you. Yeah. Are you going to have six in the back, six in the front? Oh, really, Nate? I'll bet people headed back up to Chicago and stuff. I know it was originally predicted uh, predicted that you'd be able to see it from Kokomo, but as they narrowed the window, it ended up being, you know, southeast of there. And uh, I guess all the motels in Cocoa and stuff were booked on so everybody had to get up and then drive probably 65 miles to get over to this area. You like baseball, uh, Buggy? Yeah. Watch the Guardians game. What's the Guardians? Cleveland. They're not the Indians no more? No, they're not the Indians. I did not watch them anymore, then that's bullshit. Yeah, I know. And then they, you know, you had the movie Major League, and it was the Cleveland Indians. Come on, exactly. now. yeah. Don Robbins. Oh, yeah, that sounds like work. Our generation. Oh, you can't mm. call me names. I'm gonna have my participation trophy. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Baby's one. One of them campers, bro. Come on, honeys. Drop off at my house. I don't have no treats. I'll go get you some. Okay. It looks like somebody's getting a delivery of campers. Yeah. No, it's for city. Drop one of them off my house. I hear that. Yeah, not rods seem like work to me, man. Six is plenty enough to work, but I can manage six. Personally, I only need three. Three was three is good enough for just me, you know. Big knucklehead, don't go around the chair. We've been uh, yeah. But if they upped your law up there where you can run six, I know you put six out. No, I don't we already put six out there. Curtis got his three, and I got mine. Okay, yep, that's right. Then I start to say, you got Curtis, so that gives you six. The Eclipse has our internet jacked up today. <laughs> oh, look at mine. Mine's getting so blurry. Oh, man. Okay. Buggy's not a PG channel. Uh, you know, three rods like three legs. <laughs> whichever way the pontoon, me too, Eric, that way, whichever the way the pontoon ends up basic anchored, I can fish off other than you. Yep. Yeah. That's why I want, I'm going to put rod holders on the front of the pontoon just in case, you know. Buddy, buddy. Fish from the other way. Yeah. You have fun at work, Steve Mosley. Have a wonderful, great Tuesday, buddy. Yep. Careful out there. I'll be right back, buggy. I gotta restart my phone. No worries. I'm just messing with the dog, trying to convince them that they don't have any treats and it's not my fault. It's not going over very well. <laughs> I told him yesterday that I would get them some treats Wednesday. Yeah. I think it's supposed to be 60 this weekend. Here. Is, it, is it? I know it was warm. Well, I said I'm hoping it dries out. Cause, you know, our fountain packed in the backyard. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't believe if it's in the yard, my other brother be mad. <laughs> <laughs> You might have to get a wrecker with a long cable and pull it out. Uh, 
time's up. I only got three Roman candles left, so I got to go get some more Roman candles. Yeah. <laughs> Kayakers drive me nuts up there. Corona, respect, respect my space. My, my uh, Roman candle can hit you. You're too close. <laughs> exactly, yeah. My Roman candle can hit you so can a, a 10 pound sinker or 10 ounce sinker. Mm -hmm. There you're resting back. There he is. Hold on, bam. There yeah, I've seen that video of them releasing that under whatever pound fish back in the river. Oh, yeah. That's yep, cool. They released it alive. Nice. Yep. Now J Dog's got a good chance in catching it. <laughs> you know, he said that's what uh, it's gold this year to catch a hundred pounder. Yeah, some little girl beat him to it. Yep, some little girl beat him to it. <laughs> and he was probably crying like a little girl. That was my fear. Y'all hear that? Uh -uh. You don't hear my wife talking? Uh -uh. <laughs> you know, the funny funny thing about it is he'll, he'll go out there fishing, but he'll let everybody else catch fish. So I just want to enjoy it. J Dog? Yeah, I'm talking about J Dog. Yep, that's just how he is. Well, you got to figure, too. He. He fishes about every day, weather permitting. <clears throat> so he catches a lot of fish throughout the year, if you think about it. Yeah, that, I, I think he really enjoys the company. He does, yeah, 100%. <laughs> Where I told him as it gets closer to summer, I'm going to start doing the respite days Monday through Friday because there's less boat traffic on the Ohio on the weekdays. Yeah. I mean, as far as pleasure boat stuff goes. Eric's booking down the road, boy. Get it, Eric. Get it. I'm even doing the speed limit. <laughs> Actually, going three miles an hour under the speed limit. I ain't in no hurry. More water fishing for whiskers. It, it doesn't pay to be in a hurry. Nope. Look like they need to redo them roads up there. Yeah. It pays it pays better to take your time. <laughs> mm-hmm. Hear that. You know, I, I say that, but on Fridays, boy, I'm in a hurry. <laughs> <laughs> the yeah. only day I'm in a hurry is on Fridays. You want to get out of there. Well, it's right. good to see everything greening up, up up there right now. Yeah. Something else I need to do. Plant the tomatoes and stuff. Get them started. Hi, fishing for whiskers. How are you? I'm going to shut that door. She's lying. <coughs> of a neon moon. Hip, hip, Miranda. Hip, hip, Miranda. Oh, man. I got to get that fade out of my truck. <laughs> yeah. It yeah. it up. You can pay for that. Yeah, there's a couple of creek sheds in there. There may only be one left. I don't remember. It's late. Hey, did you get your mowing done yesterday? Bugman. Yep. 
you get your mowing done yesterday? No. I still got a little less than half of the backyard to do. I got the front, and two side yards, and part of the back. I haven't even mowed my yard this year. You're kidding me. This means got to start going again. There's a going green. <laughs> First time you cut it, it started growing like crazy. Oh, yeah, that's the worst thing, man. Once you make that first cut, you know, but then again, springtime, you get rain and then sunshine, and it just stuff just sprouts and grows crazy. You gotta start cutting it every week. Yeah, oh, yeah. Get that. I want to go I fishing. I wish I could cut mine just once a week. I got to cut mine too. If it rains three, and I and the type of grass I got, I cut it year round now. So. Forget that. And if it's snow, darn that's one good thing I ain't got to worry about putting down there in the south. I might have to cut my grass year round. And if it, you know, it's growing slow in the winter, you still got to mow it because it looks scraggly. But if it snows on it, oh my goodness, all bets are off. That grass is coming up. As soon as it melts. My allergies get all upset. The neon sky. I mowed my yard about three days, four days ago, and I got a mow. <laughs> Every time you do my house, just get a, you know, fishing for whiskers. My nose was running so bad when I came in from mowing yesterday. <laughs> The bumper, maybe it's this side. Uh, Eric even laughed at his joke. Laughed <laughs> myself all the time, Luke. Laughter is the best thing in life. Keeps you alive. <laughs> if you ain't laughing in life, you ain't living. Hey, Marillo, he did. He was live. He went live like at 2 o'clock this morning or 3. I was over for a little while. What's up, Marillo? Sorry about the Iowa home, guys. I wish they would have won. <laughs> yeah, Marilla, he, he was they, speaking. This guy's a big 10 team. Fuck me. Yeah, I'm awake. <laughs> yeah, it looked like it. Purdue, when, is the, when is the Purdue game? Is that tonight or was that yeah, this weekend? It is tonight, ain't it? Fall it basketball, I like guess. Go ahead, Buggy. Make you a, a Red Bull run. Man, I might have to, to be honest with you. Mike, I don't know, man. I just, I, me and Rusty could talk about me doing Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and him doing Thursday, and me doing Friday a couple of weeks ago. So that's just what I've been going with. Yeah. Nobody asked me anything when they started talking about taking over. So I'm just going with my original plan, man. Yeah, they're saying that Purdue lost to UConn. Oh. That was like, no. oh, you're kidding me. What an error. I could have been listening to that while I was fishing last night. You were fishing last night? Yeah. That's why I'm so tired this morning. I didn't get home until after midnight. He was celebrating the eclipse, Did man. Did you catch anything? Nah. Oh, Did you go over to Buddy Pond? No, I went catfishing over to the reservoir. Oh, did you? 
Yeah, I had some Crick Chubs. Lance Bakuka said, good morning, everyone. Good up, Lance? You kind of had a better all-around team. I just root for Purdue because they're a Big Ten team. Yeah, that, that, me too. Once it gets down to like tournament time, and uh, even if my Big Ten team's not in, that's I, I root for the Big Ten too. I but seen uh, Kentucky like said, their coach. See that? What's that? Kentucky. They fired their coach. Whatever his name is. Yeah. Dang man, I thought, I, I thought you just about had to kill someone to get fired in Kentucky. Yeah. Or was that Louisville that had the adult entertainers one time for the team party or something? That's a little bit fun. You know, Kentucky job is, you know, that's a good job at Coach Kentucky. Yeah. As long as you're winning. Well, I don't follow basketball. Brian B said, morning, everyone driving. <laughs> yeah, I don't follow college basketball like I used to. I used to be a fanatic about it, you know. Follow college and pros. <laughs> yeah, and uh, uh, bird magic days, and then it rolled into the Jordan days, you know, so there was a couple of decades there where pro basketball was smoking hot. Well, when we lived in Kentucky, that's, you know, that's all everybody talked about was basketball. Oh, yeah. Basketball. Yeah, UK, UK, UK. You know, Kentucky's a basketball state. That's one sport I never really followed was the basketball. Well, I, I started following, you know, college basketball because of Bob Knight in Indiana. I mean, and, you know, Indiana, they used to say, you know, in Indiana, you're born with a basketball in your hand. I suppose now you're born with a script of oxys or some meth. Football's gotten a lot better. Mm hmm. Yeah, my favorite day, man, is opening season or opening day college football. College game day is on, man. I watch college game day every week. I love it. <laughs> About like Ohio and Nebraska, all they think all they think their colleges have are football. <laughs> yep. Yeah. No, Ohio State used to rock some pretty good ball teams, man. Oh, I guess the Nile only talk about is wrestling, men grabbing and men. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> what's big in Iowa well, is, is wrestling. Don't feel bad, Buggy. I've had about eight cups of coffee, and I'm still drowsy. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting ready to go get me another Red Bull. I think that or going here and make a cup of coffee, but I don't want to grind up no coffee beans and chance of waking everybody up. Because this is my couple, hour, couple hours of peace and quiet. Get up, go look out the door. It'll wake you up. It gets hard yeah. to watch. <laughs> yeah, that's Where, what I need to do. Where's the pup at? Is the pup sleeping? Yeah, they went out to pee and they went back. They laying on the couch sleeping or the love seat. Yeah, my dogs are spoiled. Too, huh? My dogs are spoiled. They sleep on the love seat. A little guy comes and gets in bed with me at night when I go to bed. Uglu said, "No, our colleges have more numerous athletics." I thought I was big on wrestling. I. I, uh, watching the pro day, my man, that safety or cornerback they got, he looks like he's gonna do pretty good in the NFL. Hey, what what kind of trouble is Brock Lesnar in? No, no, I never did anything. What is that about? Oh man, 
Well, he's in trouble with Vince McMahon with that that stuff, like P Diddy and all that crap. Oh, really? I know. Uh, yeah. I seen a deal. It didn't say what it was about, but he pled guilty. Oh, really? Yeah. I should Google this. Well, you don't have to worry about that guy in jail. Ain't nobody taking him to Virginia. No. <laughs> Remember watching one time watching Brock Lesnar on the uh, Saturday morning on the Great Outdoor Channel or something like that. Went out there and shot a deer and just tossed that thing right up on his shoulders and walked out of the woods. I was like, holy crap. <laughs> Be strong. Numerous as athletics. What wrestling? WrestleMania was pretty good. I liked the last match. That was that was good. <coughs> oh, did you watch Raw last night? Yeah, I watched Raw last night. First hour, I was just talking in the rock. I'm like, God, shut up! Punch each other in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. They got to build the storyline to get them through the season. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm just glad they let Cody Rhodes win it and end Roman Reigns' championship run. I'm like, good night. Y'all let him run too long with it. Yeah. Not only that, he never wrestles. He always, you know, just showed his face. Wrestle every once in a while on pay per views. Yes, and Triple H said that Brock is not gone from WWE. He is just home being Brock. They had talked with him about being in the Royal Rumble, but they didn't make it happen. Well, I heard they released him. They, he's out. You know, Vince Man probably told him, I'll give you a certain amount of millions of dollars if you just take the fall and go on with it. <laughs> it's, still, it's still sad that uh, uh, they call it Bray Wyatt did die. Man, that guy was, he had some good ideals. Oh, yeah. That that documentary on him, on Peacock, they have, just good. That, that was real good. <laughs> yeah, they, uh, they put his dad in the Hall of Fame, and I don't know why they didn't go ahead and induct him into the Hall of Fame either. Well, they should have, but they'll probably end up doing it next year. But they put him in the Hall of Fame for his tag team, not for his single IRS. That's who he was for a long time, his IRS. He had a Bray Wyatt had a big following now when he walked out. Oh yeah. Yeah, I liked it. I like watching Bray Wyatt. That dude's crazy. He put the entertainment in. He was, he was good. He had a lot of good ideas. We're just just leading up to the spring product of Bo Dallas back. Bo Dallas, his brother, he, he was supposed to, that's who was Uncle Howdy. But they say this is supposed to be Triple H is there. All of them there. Yeah. There are no set rules for induction into the WGB Hall of Fame, HOF. 
I am thinking it was such a shock they want to let them heal up a bit before they put them all on the stage. <laughs> Heard that Bo Dallas was going to come back as Uncle Howdy soon. But we'll see what happens to Bo Dallas. Oh, Bo Dallas, yeah. Little buggies over snoozing, boy. Yep. Yep, I was. He was checking for light behind his eyelids. That's all. Mm -hmm. Did leak? <laughs> he was doing the eyelid eclipse. <laughs> mm hmm. <laughs> They said Rikishi was going to come back too. He was, yeah, I seen him sitting out there when the rock walked out. Oh, you know, you seen the old Undertaker come back. Got an ancient. <laughs> yeah, Undertaker just needs to retire. Yeah, he, uh, he getting worried. It damn near kills him at the end of a match. He can't walk. Got to carry him out. Well, you know that's why they let Seth Rollins belt go because he had to get, he's got to get that knee redone. Got to let that knee heal heal properly. And he's got all kinds of back problems too. He lost his belt too, huh? Yeah, he lost his belt to McIntyre. Then McIntyre lost it to that dumb uh, Damian Priest. I watch Monday Night Raw, but when they switch Raw to Netflix, I won't never watch it. Because I'm not a Netflix kind of guy. But See, when they take up his ball spot. <laughs> you know, they take Netflix and they keep jacking up the prices, and, and you can only have it on one device. I think it's crazy. It's like my YouTube TV. I think I can, I could, I pay for it and I can share it on six devices. Huh. That's the way. That's the way it should be. But you know, not Netflix. If you have paid one, you want another subscription. You got to pay extra to put it on another, but another platform, your TV or tablet or whatever. You have to pay more. I'm like, that's the price gouging. That's ridiculous. I don't know. I got. I don't have Netflix, and I don't want Netflix. I got five devices on mine. Uh, Your Netflix? On uh, my Roku, and then uh, we can watch Netflix on any other TVs. Oh, right. Netflix don't charge you for each TV. Follow them. All them beers. Okay. Well, he likes that race track over there to the right of me. We'll kill the coffee dirt track or whatever you want to call it. Motocross track. <laughs> oh man, if my nose don't quit running. Looks pretty cool. I got the other half of my younger age now. I really don't give a crap anymore. <laughs> Bunch of hills and jumps. I know that. How many times you race that track, Buggy? How many what? Did you ever race that track up here in Chill Coffee? No, that's motocross. 
I, I didn't race motocross. I did a little bit when I was young, but none of them existed then. This would have been probably 78, I think, 79 area. And then we started racing in the woods, cross country stuff in the woods. Nice to good for me. Good job. Mm. Like they got the greens at the golf course, buggy. What's that? It doesn't even look like they've cut the greens at the golf course yet this year. Oh, I'm sure they have. Oh, man. Glad that he kicked off. Stop and got you some Red Bulls on the way home last night. You know, I did. I had one. Thought I had two. And I was mistaken. That I didn't get in bed to probably one or a little after one. And I, I had a video on when I laid down to go to sleep. I don't think yeah. I was laying there very long before and I was out. It seems that he don't like soap operas, but yet he watches this on YouTube. <laughs> What's that? Chris M. They don't like oh. soap operas, but yet he watches all of us on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Peace, Chris M. Are you out there or something, buddy? Yeah, but that soap operas are fictional. You know, it's a storyline and it's all played out. This is real life. <laughs> yeah. You never know what you're going to get. Yeah, this is a drama-free zone. Drama? No drama. drama. I love stirring the turd. <laughs> Even though I don't have my J-Dog shirt on. You want to go, bro? <laughs> School is back up in the day. No eclipse today, fella. You got to go to school. Yep. Time to get back to reality. Yeah. No school, Avery. Right? Student is last day. Yeah. Peace, what gig. Or, er, Chris, I'm sorry. These kids get out of school May 15th now? I know. They go back in the mid August. Where? Though. I remember he were in school until the first week of June. Yep. But we, we also back, didn't go back to school until after the first week of September or uh, last week of August. 
Then they wonder why Americans are so stupid. Kids have to go to school 365. They should have to go to work or school just like I go to work every day. Be lucky to get two weeks vacation. They want to teach them how to how to be a um, <laughs> working American slaves, as I say. I'm sorry, Max, buddy. And they said, "I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to catch some." Hey, Captain's regulators, what's going on, Yeah, they're gonna teach him how to speak Chinese. Oh uh, yeah. Crazy. The young generations of this country wake up and start paying attention. They're going to be speaking Chinese before the, they get to be my age. Just yep. Saying. I hate to say it, but yep. Yep. Well, when you turn TV on, and the biggest part of the commercials play, they're in Spanish. Yeah. I'm like, wasn't that on a ballot? few years back, the the number one language in the U.S. was English. Mm -hmm. Well, and it all goes down to assimilation when you migrate to a country. And I'm sure it probably even says it in the United States, you know, regulations for, you know, migrating here that you have to assimilate. And I'm pretty sure that includes if you go by the book that includes you know learning the language and the histories and being law abiding it's like uh what yesterday it was in wisconsin or michigan i think michigan where the palestines that's over here had a rally calling out death to america death to america get that right but my philosophy on it you know i have to work all year round i'm I maybe get a two week vacation. That's about all I get. Why? That's how school should be, you know? They want to train them to be slaves. And that's what you are. You're a slave until you retire. And by the yep. time you retire, you're too old to enjoy life. Yep, your body's shot. And yep. They want to say, oh, I don't believe in slavery. Well, you, you're a slave to the U.S. government. Yeah, Nate, you're right about that kids not wanting to work thing. I don't know what's going to happen with the labor force in 15 years. Yeah, that's right. I all want to sit behind the computer. You know, like my profession as a real estate appraiser, they say that the be, average age. I'm going to be a copywriter. I'm going to be a copywriter. You know, so there's going to be a shortage of real estate appraisers before long actually there kind of is now if you want to get into it it's a good business you just it's kind of hard to get into it's like you don't see the u.s government but one but once a week and he comes knocking for his cut of your paycheck yep. <laughs> and you work for it Crazy. Well, there's a lot of schools around here closed down, so because of the eclipse. Yeah, I'm okay with that. That was a learning thing, but. You know, like his, like they sit here and says, what do I have to go to work if I'm off school? You know, it's called a work ethic, man. That's the whole thing about it. You got to, you know, I don't know. Like I said, I'm lost with the today's youth generation as far as work ethics and stuff like that. You know, you go in a sit down restaurant and you get crappy service. Half the time your order gets done wrong. You know, and then like out in California, hell, you can make 20 bucks an hour now working at McDonald's. You know, all you got to learn is, would you like fries with that? That's all you got to know. Yeah, you know, so need to make 20 bucks an hour. It's just sad anymore. It takes two or three people to tell you to keep a household going because all the bills. 
Well, it is what it is. I mean, I won't be around much longer. I'm kind of glad, too, because, you know, the way the world's going, I don't want to see it. You know what I mean? Oh, I'm glad I'm old. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I, I don't care either, but I worry about my grandkids' future. Yeah, exactly. That's me too. Now I used to didn't worry until I had yep. They're screwed. Sorry to yeah. say it. They're screwed. <laughs> yep. 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 I don't know what's gonna happen. Like I said, there's a good chance unless if they don't stop China from buying up land in this country, it ain't gonna matter anyway. And the eighteen to twenty thousand Chinese citizens that snuck across the border. What's that about? Well, we got a big aluminum plant here to Badger. It's been on the news several times. It used to be called Miranda. Then they changed to Magnitude two seven. They closed down. Magnitude two seven opened up in the same spot. Now they're closed down. Now this big farmer around here called Barry Acock. Uh, he goes around and buys up stuff like that farmland for the Chinese. Does he really? I'd shoot him. If they go I'd through him, him. in the middle of nowhere in the country, and I'd shoot him. And uh, they go through him to buy it because they know that they allow. They supposed to. Yeah. That's basically treason, in my opinion. I'm sorry, it's treason, and the penalty for treason is death. That's horrible. Selling your country out like that for money. More, Mr. John Parker. Morning, Mr. Parker. I know there's Bugs Island out there. I see yeah. the morning kind of good fish. Where's yours? Hey, Mr. Mr. Parker, how are you doing today? I hear you've been killing it, catching some fish there, buddy. I know, man. I've seen William. I've seen uh, Farley. Lauren Farley, he, he's got a he's got a picture on his Facebook of a good fish. The real time caught? No, he caught it. Caught it out there with the real time. Oh, okay. <laughs> Regular said we caught a fifty five point eight solid black blue. Really? Hmm. I wonder why. He said, doing good, thanks. I mean, that dude was dark, dark blue, huh? Looked almost black. Hmm. It's a good size cat. Solid black blue. That's interesting. Wonder what makes him do that. Oh, did I see a shiny sun? Black like as oh. sunlight. Shoney. Mm. I think that's the reason why they're getting so dark because they don't they're getting up in the sunlight. Morning, Randall Rhino. Like us, you know, when we get out in the sunlight, we get a tan and darken up. And the fish, when they're in the bottom and they don't hit, get the sunlight, they darken up. <laughs> I need to eat something. I don't know what I want to eat, though. Oh, I was about to say, man, I ain't seen Chad this morning, but I forgot they fished late last night. He's on vacation. I had pop tart for breakfast. You're all buried. Oh, man, I bet I don't have none, but that sounds good. Shit. That's I just have to eat a bowl of cornflakes. Mm -hmm. Cornflakes. Yeah, no bacon. Eggs this morning. Yeah, I'm just thinking I may end up having a bowl of life cereal now that you mention it. I forgot what Why? I was going to do now. Dang, damn it. What was I doing? It'll wake you up. You're going to have some of that milk that day. <laughs> <laughs> Got milk? Going to have some of that milk? <laughs> Yeah. Come on, Uncle Lou, say it. Got Bill. 
I didn't like milk before. Now I definitely don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, every time I look at milk, I'm like, oh, no, that just don't. It's just that the image pops in your head like, hey, hell no. <laughs> Yes, you did. I was thinking about breaking out the OG Gore Dog while fishing with my daughter. Hey, that's awesome. <clears throat> right, B said, boy. I'm <laughs> all Yeah, I forgot what I was wanting to look up. I can't remember what it was now. We caught five fish for a total of 93 pounds. Also, dang, man, good job. Be right back. I'm going to go get me a bowl of cereal real quick. All right. Let's see here, everybody. <clears throat> Today is the day Art caught the 93 from the dock. Awesome. Where is Art? I ain't seen Art around in a while. Like it's been raining outside. Oh, it is raining. Okay. Well, the rains are here, folks. The rains are here. What's this? I got a red dot up on my on my weekly recap. Mm -hmm. But man, give him some live stereo. Yep. If it rains today, I'm gonna start my continuing ed classes. That's what I'm gonna do. I uh, forgot about them. They hey, gotta be no, done. Yep. Bug man's eating live cereal, and Eric gives a great picture of a dumpster over there. Hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Northern View Outdoor says, here we go. Here we are again. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> I, I kind of expect that door to open up and uh, J-Dog's brother come popping out. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> I don't know why, but right, of course, baby. <laughs> you have any idea, Buggy? <laughs> you what? Do you have any idea why? What? I keep expecting Jay Dog's brother to pop out of the dumpster over. <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly <laughs> why. <laughs> yep. I know You're exactly fine. why. <laughs> 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 that was funny and that was so funny that day it was ingenious I'd have never thought of it yeah I wouldn't either not the shy pooping kind I'd just 
pulled it down in the woods and it said, let her rip. <laughs> yeah, but there ain't really nowhere to get up the bank on the licking, you know what I mean? Seriously, that's not when it gets a little low because it's got to be still a drop off on it. Somebody. Mm -hmm. I'm, the, I'm, I'm the type of guy to go up behind one of them homeless guys' tent, tents. Just <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they all got more the way in the flood. Oh my God, what's that smell? I know I ain't took a bath in the bus, but dang. <laughs> they need to need, need to flood about once a month up there. And then they, they quit putting their tents up there. <laughs> Which I'm okay with the tents and stuff. It's just the fact they throw garbage everywhere. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, they just throw it down the ground. Mm-hmm. And then it ends up in the damn water. Mm-hmm. And the next thing you know, you got three eyed Ohio fish. <laughs> yep. That or some poor guy that works for the city there has to go clean it up. Uh -uh. <laughs> I can picture her doing that. Oh my god, I can't get that image out of my head. Hey, you gotta go. Your nature calls. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Go Me, go. I'm the type of guy. I'm the type of guy. Hey, if I'm out here on the pontoon boat, Curtis, get you, but. Put her up on the shore so I can run up in the woods. Oh, heck, on a pontoon boat, I got a five gallon bucket with a lid that's a toilet. I want to smell that. Hmm? I want to smell that. That's the kind of stuff you leave on the trail out in the woods. That way, we can walk it down the trail. You ain't going to smell it if you put it. And somebody's well, walking down the trail and they step in it. There might be a big, big bear out here. <laughs> Ooh, he had corn. That's good, Northern View. That's good. Uh, he said, uh, he said, finally broke the skunk of the year. Got him a fish last night. And he was out fishing Buckeye Lake. It's not that far away from me. I seen him. Tom was eyeballing it. Man, I want to go catfishing, but I'll. I'm afraid if I try to throw that mad cat rods, man, I'm going to throw that shoulder out. Buckeye Lake sucks in the summertime, man. It's a pleasure boat lake. So it's one of them lakes, you know, everybody, on bass fishermen and all that. That's <laughs> not very deep. So, uh, for Hoover, it's got a 9.9 .9 limit on it. You don't have all them pleasure boaters out there flying around acting like idiots. <laughs> In order you said thanks for watching. I appreciate it. No problem, buddy. I didn't know you were from Ohio. But I said, see, you came in the hogway, so I had to subscribe to you because you're from Ohio. <laughs> Oh, okay, good, Danny. We was fishing yesterday. Just get from Clearview was out fishing yesterday. Chad and Chad and uh, regulators was out there on the dock yesterday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he yeah, said the dog around. Put a whooping on Chad. <laughs> I'm always around just because I don't say anything because I don't want to upset somebody because I didn't say hi to them. <laughs> so I just lurk anymore. Yep. Lurk and hit the thumbs up. Some of it all you're going to get from me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there are a few people I make a point of saying hi to. 
But you know what's going to happen when you say hi to one person, then you start the whole stream. <laughs> oh, yeah. Spend the first 10 minutes saying hi to everybody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Well, hog legs, I used to come in there. Hello, all you butt. Good morning, all you butt scratchers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you ain't you got no tires to unload right there or something? Well, he looks like he's in a used car lot. Oh, he may be. Because I think he stops somewhere. He stops and looks at cars he did the other week. J Dog is back there in the background. What up, J Puppy? You knucklehead. Sending me text with the finger on him. <laughs> You're number one, buddy. Yeah. About 20 times over, according to the text. <laughs> <laughs> so what tournament's coming up this weekend i have no idea yeah me neither Hmm. Denise said, working in the garden. That's cool. <clears throat> I was always told you didn't plan anything until after Mother's Day. I don't know why, but, you know, but that was the last guarantee of no frost or something. Hey, morning, Cody. Uh, Brian B said Chad's fish a thon is okay. Saturday morning. That's cool. quite in Brownwood. Yep. Yep. Don't overdo it. Yeah, that hits the spot a little bit. <coughs> Multiple channels again. <laughs> Yep, we're, that works okay for me because I got a computer with dual monitors and my laptop, so I can technically watch three channels at one time. Not listen to all three, but watch all three. Tell you all talking the same. Hey, I got a mouthful of cereal there, Mr. Cody, three plus one. Who proves the jinx about the camera is real. Yesterday, they go off the camera and catch a bunch of fish. 
Yeah. Three in the boat. I got three in the boat. Yep. Yeah, they're gonna, they they caught a mess of fish after they got off the line, man. I'm telling you, I believe it. And every time I go live, I very rarely catch any fish. Hey, Mike Greenwell, good morning. Hey, Mikey, how are you, buddy? Good to see you today, man. Put in two gates, planted three bold blueberry bushes and one raspberry. How well? Uh, off them in a year. Make sure. How that river looked down Evansville Way. I know we had a lot of water coming down to you from up here. You know, I went over to the river yesterday to get them titles from the bank, and I didn't even drive up on the levee to to see because there was a a guy. I don't know what was going on, but he was running from law foot. And one oh yeah, put him in a truck. Then no, then two more come running down that levee of vehicles flying through there trying to catch him. <laughs> nice. Yeah, he was on foot. They said, they said he was on foot running. Said y'all ain't gonna catch me. <laughs> yeah, right. Like I said, just let the dog out. They'll slow down. Yeah, it was funny. They said, Yeah, I bet it is, Mike. Uh, out, I know we send a lot of water your way. A lot. We, what, day before yesterday or whatever, I forget which day it was. It rained so hard, but we got an inch and a quarter of rain up uh -huh. right here. Water, Roger. Water, Roger. Hey, Roger. Which an inch and a quarter don't sound like much, but when you think about all the water flows off the field and stuff into the rivers, it's a bunch. What, Greenwell? That's good to be here when I was. Uh, yeah, but you got to think an uh, inch and a quarter over a widespread area equivalents to a lot of water. It's all got to go downhill. All got to go somewhere. Yep. You're expecting rain the next three days. I think we're supposed to get it to Mike. I mean, God, what a spring, huh? Yeah, agree. Well, we're expecting rain the next three days, too. It's funny, the extremes. Uh, it doesn't seem like these days it's either <laughs> feast or famine. There's too much rain, and the rivers are flooded, or there's not enough rain, and the and the rivers get down a lot, you know, but that doesn't seem like any, uh, well, what's the word I'm looking for? Normancy, I guess, to how it go, how the seasons go. Let's see the other day. You know, I may have to go to Kentucky Lake. Yeah. Okay, Stoneflat. I didn't know if that was you were wanting to send that to Jody or what. I don't, you know, I was, I'm not going to lie. I'm half awake, to be honest with you. So I wasn't sure. So I didn't want to say anything else about that. I didn't want to, you know, step on no one's toes or anything because I didn't, you know, you know what I mean? It was like, I'm, not, I'm still not awake. Who the hell am I kidding? Lesson learned. Don't go fishing if you're doing the show the day after. Because <laughs> I ain't worth a damn today. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> 
Oh, goodness. Greenwell bank fishing, heck yeah. Oh, I know. That's good. Skip's at work today. Ha ah, ha, he's not fishing my lake. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had some more bank fishing options around here, river options. You don't want to fish the river. That's perfect. I got, I don't know if you ever seen my video about the little boat. It's a 11.3 feet, uh, called a bass tender. It's an awesome little boat, really, for what we do. That's right. We don't, you know, I don't have any big water close to me at all. A few reservoirs within an hour of me, but other than that, not much. I haven't seen Butters yet this morning. He should be coming around. He may not, though, because he come over yesterday evening. I didn't have no treats. So he went away kind of disappointed. So he may be boycotting me until he knows I got treats again. Hmm. Sorry guys, those there for a minute. I'm gonna put my cereal bowl up. Yep. We ain't gonna see no sun today here, it don't look like. <clears throat> yeah, you know you're out of shape when you go fishing one evening and walking up and down the bank, your legs are sore. <laughs> Oh, that's cool, Northview. Where'd you meet him at on the river? They probably met at Hoover last week. Oh, okay. Yeah, they didn't. That wasn't the one fishing the river. What was I thinking? Yeah. Never mind. That was stupid on my part. <laughs> Man, I really hate doing this CE continuing education. It's a pain. Yeah, did you do your classwork yet? No. I do. No, I got two classes I got signed up for and paid for already. I need to get started on. And, uh, None of them are fine. One of them's uh, FHA guidelines or updated FHA guidelines, and I forget what the other one it was. The one I'd like to take that they didn't offer was, is uh, giving professional testimony or something like that. 
Because if you get good at that, and you're good at what you're doing, appraising wise, you can make money working for lawyers doing uh, divorces, you know. <laughs> so I don't hear us down the hall. Yeah, Danny, I'm with you. I have to do that when I go to the BA. A217 Rebel, how are you, buddy? Now, I I don't know if I'll be on tomorrow. Yeah, I'll be on, but it will be why I'm driving to the VA from about 5.30 or so, I guess. And then uh, once I get to the VA, I'll have to either leave the phone in my truck with the live run until I get back out or something like that. I'm usually only in there about an hour, if that. <clears throat> Anyone ever heard of Hillsdale College? What? Hillsdale College. Have you ever heard of it? Hillsdale College. It's a college, and the reason I know about it is your freshman year, you have to take a class on the Constitution. It's mandatory. In that same class that they have freshmen take, you can go online and take that class yourself. For free. For those who are interested in knowing the history of your country. <clears throat> yeah, the way it's going, this country's going to be history. Yep. I hate to say it, but. Hooking up the camper and heading north. Where are you heading north to, Danny? Or is it a secret? <clears throat> oh, yeah. I'll bet the Mississippi's going to come up for a week from all the water here. It goes down, hits the Ohio, and then heads to you guys. Lawnmower, don't you dare. I would have slapped right into you, too, because there's a sheriff right there. I what, uh, what's, the gist, what's the <laughs> gist of the Iron Cats tournament? Why is it called Iron Cats? Is there is it a long tournament or? Grapes planted. Do you, do you have a vine, or is it like the <clears throat> on them grape plants? You have like wire or a lattice or something that the grape vines grow up. I'm trying to figure out how I want to. I can't even talk this morning. Because I know I remember in my neighborhood, these people had a grape arbor or whatever it's called. I think it's a grape arbor. And uh, one side of it sat real close to the fence. There's like a grass alley easement runs between the houses back there. And we used to go back there and get the grapes. I think you are on a time frame to catch a fish, if I remember the rules right. Hmm. Interesting. On a time frame to catch a fish. 
you know, somebody will pipe up with what it's about, or I'll just who's hosting that Iron Cats? Going where we did the meetup last year with Chadwick, D. Hooks, and Hemis. Want to be to want to be and the rest. Are you doing a Mississippi meet and greet? Mm -hmm. No, he's talking about he's going fishing at the place where they had one or something like that for the iron. What's it called? Iron Cats. Iron Cats Tournament. <clears throat> and I was just wondering what, you know, the rules and stuff are for that. Come on, sunshine. We want to see you today. I guess that would be a no. Shit, that sucks, man. Gonna be sucking pond water. See, that's what it is. We got a pond water sucking situation going on. Okay, yeah, exactly. That's what I thought. Really? It takes several years? I didn't know that. That's interesting. But yeah, this one that the people down the easement from us had was huge. And you couldn't, if you were in the house or the yard, you couldn't see anyone on the other side of it. You know what I mean? So we could walk back there in the evening or nighttime in the summer when they were nice and purple and grab a handful of grapes for free. <coughs> 217 D. Yeah, it's going to rain. Did I miss D coming in? Hmm? Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. Morning, Miss hey, D. Miss, good morning, D. How are you doing up bright and early today after a late night of fishing? The best part yeah. of filled with water. Yeah! Or Chad, or Ernie. It was that one day today. I gotta go pick up that rental car at noon. Gotta find that place first, though. So. <laughs> I thought you'd call. You could call them and they'll drop them off. Uh, I, I doubt. I don't know. Yeah. You know who said that? Hmm. Oh, Which that's Eric and it's okay. I didn't know who was talking. I didn't know what's going on either. <laughs> Heck, it's going on nine o'clock, isn't it? I did not know this. <clears throat> I was fixing to answer back. Who said what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. That. Okay, this. There we go. Da -da -da. That's cool, man. That green one said, uh, fight, fight. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, these guys tournament coming up. Yeah, Lee has the the ladies tournament coming up before long, don't she?
Morning, Miss Joan. <laughs> yep, D, that's what I usually do is just say hi and get it out as quick as I can. Mm, sorry about that. You know what? Let me see where I'm at here. <clears throat> I think I'm going to call it a day at nine, guys. Whew. Yep. Let me see where we at. Open. She had spilled some of some good luck out when he was walking around. I get a, some of that Chadwick luck for those deserving enough. Whew. Didn't see it. <laughs> yeah, I think me and Mike's the same time so. <laughs> mm -hmm. Are you? Yeah, he's down in Evansville. You would be. So it's only like what <laughs> eight o'clock in your time. Oh, Alabama for the CR tournament. Go get him, Roger. Go get him. Mm -hmm. June 22nd. There we go. I got back up. I, I was behind the chat. There we go. He <laughs> doesn't know how to use it. Mmm, donuts. <coughs> oh, come on now. I guess it's a scroll. There we go. There is a script. Never traveled that far to fish. CR tournament. Huh. Is that you got to have a CR boat to enter? Keep talking about your garden, they said it'll grow on us. <laughs> I don't know why in the screen yard the Links don't come up blue. The links? Yeah, like uh, D uh, just posted the link to something, but it's not blue. Oh, I bet it is. I know what I'm doing. I'm being jerky. That was my fault. Yeah, Rig, I agree with you there. Just meant to be. Mm -hmm. mm. Where is it at? I don't even know where is it, what I was looking for now. Oh, I know. Never mind. Come on, look chat, you goofheads. You're killing me, Smalls. There we go. Now it's blue on my phone. 
to LinkedIn and Facebook. Hmm. Ladies, catfish rumble. There will be blood. <laughs> there will be blood. <laughs> hey, me. Me and Kirkus won that last year, ladies' call out. Mm -hmm. I, got, I got a trophy for that. Or not a trophy, but a, 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 a award of metal plaque thingy. Mm -hmm. Necklace thingy. Says, I'm better fisherman than Jody. <laughs> oh, man. You know, I got here to this stop, and he said, uh, "He said, hey, I want to show you this video of the clips. It's the same video I sent you, Buggy. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I've seen it. <laughs> oh, that's seen too much. Clip. It's making the rounds now, isn't it? <laughs> yep. Oh, too much. I've ever made that video. It went viral. Yep, for sure. I just want, wouldn't want to admit that I'm the one who made it. <laughs> Rudy, I said, yeah, but I bet you can't make her do the plunge. I need to play with that GoPro today to see if there's an SD card in that thing. I wonder if there is. Well, the traffic's moving up down that road this morning. The one where it's at. Yeah. Usually there's not that much traffic when it comes to there. Ugh, it's still raining out there. Mm, you're dripping off the house. Hmm. Oh, that's clouds. <laughs> My dog's on the floor snoring again. Nice. Dogs have obeyed, man. And trust me, you needed that bath in the river worse than me. Mm -hmm. All right, 217, be careful out there. Have fun. I'm going to get my glasses through there. That's what's wrong. No wonder I can't see. Okay, 217. I hope you catch some fish, bud. Okay, guys, I'm sitting here about half asleep by wasting y'all's time. <laughs>
So I think we'll probably call it a day here pretty quick. Anybody got anything they need to say, links, or they need to get out, announcements or whatever, now would be a good time to do that. You got five minutes to do whatever it is you need to do. Cody sang the Splash Splash song for us. <laughs> Splash Splash song. You can make that Eclipse video right now. <laughs> it's one regulator. I can drop the video out with that Dory going, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like more to go. It's not made to adjust like that this morning. I know. It's got to. You know, that ain't nothing. That's how I like Joby's voice. It was. It was that link. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he pulls out of the street and ain't nobody there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, whoa, the traffic would stop flowing. It's like it would come a ghost town. Find the paper mill. Probably want to be over here. It stinks. <laughs> I call it stink of coffee. You see, it's the first capital of Ohio, but you know why it moved? You know why the capital moved? Because it stinks so bad down here. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> I don't know. You ain't been through the weekly on the day that that paper mill is blowing the circulation. Well, that's, what, that's what's right here is the paper mill. Smell like raw sewage flowing yeah. through there or something. Yeah. Rotten cabbage, if you ask me. Yeah. They reopened that one up back over at Wickliffe. Man, I, I was out of people who live over over that smell. My goodness. And if the wind's blowing this right, right, you can smell it over at Charleston. I'm like, phew. Well, we're on interstate. You can start smelling. Never, never thought paper stink so much. <laughs> <laughs> No, left it for. Apparently, they pay good money to work over here, but they have to pay good money to deal with that smell. I'm telling you, man. All these houses that are right here to the left of me. Oh, man. Ernie says, cry, cry, cry. Ernie? Yeah, Ernie. Ernie Brown? Yep. And he, he probably likes that smell. <laughs> Regular is telling his dad now that he's gone, maybe he can finally catch a fish over seven pounds. Hmm. <laughs> All right, Chad, go over there and anchor up right off the side of the dock. Throw donuts at him. 
J Dog sent me a text. So I've been texting back. Ernie said, I can handle it. I know how to shut down my sinuses. <laughs> Good. You're blessed because I sure don't. Now, right now it's time to shut them down. The pollen and all that pollen. Tree pollen, the grass pollen, all that crap. Vine around in the air. Was that a big school you pass? No, it's a graveyard. The other uh, thing was the DOT center. Okay. Mm. The DOT center was on the right, the graveyard's on the left. I'll pass all that now. Ready to jump on the freeway. Don't fly some bug. If you don't want the unit, let him know because Jody would be next. What's that? Stonefly said, if you don't want that unit, let him know that Jody, he'll give it to Jody. Go ahead and let Jody have it, brother. That's fine. Jody have I, what? I don't have the money to take care of all, you know, wires and fish finder. My, again. Mind, my mind is definitely preoccupied, so you know, taking the time to learn to run it and everything, it's just not a good time for that. Buggy's still half asleep. Nah, him and Jane don't text each other, tell each other they're number one. <laughs> no, they're commenting on that uh, Eclipse video. Who is? Jay Dog and you, you guys are talking about wondering who's MR. <laughs> no, he was he sent me a text and told me to wake up. I'm doing a live show, you idiot. <laughs> and I told him I have to agree I am an idiot. Something along those lines. But Stompfly, I sure appreciate the offer, man. But yeah, we it, it probably it's going to get better use with Jody than it is me. I mean, heck, I ain't even. I probably won't get the money to get the plates and stuff to get the boat in the water till July, I'd imagine. You know, so by the time I would get it in the boat in the water, she'd already be using it, I'd think. And. Uh, Heck, it was just bigger than my boat almost. <laughs> but yeah, at any other point in my life, I'd been like, heck yeah, send it over. I'll take care of it. But it's just not a good time right now. I got so much going on with Pop and trying to get the... Yep. I still ain't heard back from the people about getting paid. I don't know what's up with that. But I guess I'll text the lady and say, I haven't heard anything from anyone. And, but I'm not going to count on that anyway. You know, that only happens to people who can game the systems usually. I can't believe Dad's still asleep, thank goodness. Okay, so I do every day. 
<laughs> Jump the road, Jackson. <laughs> North Carolina. Oh, goodness gracious, guys. Well, who else fishing today? And if you're going to fish, if you're fishing, you're going to go live or something, put it in here real quick so everybody knows. No, who's fishing today? Which y'all boys? That's an worry about getting the boat out of the backyard, making the tracks all in the install. Yeah, yeah. The uh, what day are you planning on going fishing? Is it this weekend, you say? Probably not. I just oh. remembered the fourteenth of uh, one year. One year since my dad's been gone. Oh, okay, brother. Yeah. Well, if you need anything, you know my number, man. I need to go by and see my grave's brother. My grave's brother. Jesus Christ, me, dude, you are tired. My brother's grave. I haven't been there in 10 years, probably. I really should do that, I think. Okay, 217 is going live when you get to the lake. Do what, brother? He is in the Uncle Lou. You guys right. have back me? You guys head back today or are you gonna stick with me fishing? All right. It's it's time to call it a day. I appreciate all of you coming in and hanging out with me, man. It uh, definitely makes a guy feel good to have people hang out. And uh, it sure is good to start your morning, you know, if you wake up and there's a show to, to watch, even if it's not the regular show you watch, at least it's something you got to throw on, you know. And... uh get you through the morning get you to work or whatever you know what i mean and tomorrow i'll be going to the va i'll be live before i leave because i think i leave here about 5 30 so i'll go live but i have to do it on my telephone and then i'll stay live till i get to the va and we'll make a decision then on what i'm gonna do but other than that i hope everyone has a wonderful day and maybe somebody will go catch fish and we'll get to see it or something. You never know. <coughs> he said he ain't going. J-Dog told me he wasn't going live. <laughs> I figured he would. Yeah, me too. He doesn't do that very often. But... If you guys got any topics or something that you want to talk about when we do these things, man, by all means, send me an email. And, uh, or come in the chat when it starts and throw it out there and we'll, we'll kick the ideas around whatever anyone wants to talk about. Yeah, Med South, some people did. I forget who, but I heard someone say something about they, they caught fish during the, during the eclipse, which is cool. But, all right. <clears throat>
I'm out of here, guys. Before Dad wakes up and I got to get busy, at least I get a little chill time. So, yep. see y'all later. Hey, what's up, everybody? Right. Is that exciting?